gateway. I was hoping you'd end that countdown and then say, we've been live for a minute. I'm kidding. End that countdown and oh. then say, we've been live for a minute. I was, I was, I was debating. I, I've, I've got a pretty good track record of going live without telling you guys, but I, I feel like that's kind of a, a, not really a thing I should be doing. <laughs> that's kind of, yeah, no, quietly messed up. Quietly messed up. I'll, one of, I'll one of these, one of these days you'll be, you'll be out of the know. And you'll be like, okay, so I did this thing talking with my with my agent about this contract that I can't tell anybody else about, and I'll be oh like, oh my god, um, actually, we've been live for like fucking five minutes. <laughs> oh my, oh, I, you, there would you die? You die. <laughs> you die. The end of everything. Thirty seconds would pass, and you'd hear a knock at your door. You'd yeah. open it, and and it would just be me with my hands clasped together. By slowly way, any raising agents, my head and just to any potential agent fine. speaking we don't talk yeah. about that stuff on the yeah uh, on indeed the uh caitlin just uh leans into her <laughs> and you says, don't open your damn mouth shot. <laughs> that's the farthest i know you don't say shit you didn't Sorry, say I'm shit you, know. you didn't sign shit <laughs> yeah, furious. i'm glad you know suddenly my phone's ringing my agent's like, what did you do? I'm, like, I'm sorry, other. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh oh it's okay. No one watches Gateway anyway. Anyway. <gasps> oh, speaking of which, oh, oh, is it anyway. my fault? Wait a minute. Do we have a tweet, by the way? I'll make a tweet. Uh, we don't. I should probably make a tweet. But Connor. hello, everybody. Welcome to Gateway, the only show on the Unexpectables channel. The only um, show. The only show. No, hey, hey, the number Connor. one show on the, the unexpected number one yeah. show Four on the Gateway more channel. Days. According to Connor, nobody watches. If it's my fault, fucking tell me it is. You, you, you want to know why? You want to know <laughs> why? Because Connor forgot to tweet. Oh, oh, you dingus! Oh, oh I'm you sorry. In the name of all yeah. the gods, are you serious? I, well, it, there are just, a bunch. it just managed to slip my mind, you know, after uh, preparing for uh, this session and, you know, doing everything to keep this game running. And I guess it just slipped yeah, my mind. I just, I just yeah. showed up in this call and Connor forgot the tweet. Like, what are you, oh. what are you even doing in your off time, man? Oh, you sprung I mean, this. we are competing against a bunch of voice actors who are apparently playing Genshin as well, so. <gasps> oh, they're Oh, fine. wow. It's okay, Connor. I never tweet out. Roll with me. I always forget. Indeed. We know. <laughs> you always, you always indeed. I'm just kidding. Movie. I always forget too. It was Monday. I mean, like you, you just don't think about it. You, indeed. you think? Wait, wait. <laughs> I think you're doing it intentionally now. <laughs> I ate so much soup today. I don't know if my body's gonna recover. I, nah, oh, you'll, yeah. nah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. That was a lot. It was a lot. Uh, there was a lot of soup, and then we went to eighty-five degrees, and then I had, mm -hmm. then I had this like mango panna cotta, mm -hmm. and these little like coconut cream squares that were. Mm. Oh, that sounds oh, so good. good. They were good. And I almost made you kill me. You're talking about the. You? You're talking about the little. Um, you're talking about the little coconut cream squares at like, uh, yes. like Chinese buffets and stuff like that, right? Those I are don't, oddly I mean, the best. They are. They're cold, and delicious. Yeah, they and are they're dusted great. in little coconut flakes. Yeah. No. I. I love like those me. little things. Yeah, are you are dusted you in coconut dusted flakes? In coconut flakes. Uh, it's true. Yes. Oh, it's it's awesome. Really Awesome. I Yo, what's it like to be coated in coconut flakes like all the time? Ow. Huh. What'd you is, do? Is, is it everything you wanted or is it a goddamn nightmare? Dish. Are you a dish? I was born like this. I am. I'm not just a dish. I'm a whole three piece <laughs> meal with your own choice of beverage. Oh. I know. Wow. Right? I'm I... the I'm the large meal you eat at the end of the day because you didn't eat anything else during the day. Yeah, Sarah. I've been to college. I'm intermittent fasting. Isn't oh, that oh. supposed to be okay? Uh -huh, oh, sure. it's oh, I, oh I'm sure. just. Oh, you're intermittent fasting? No, oh, I just thought it was just me being poor. Okay. I don't no, know. I'm speaking of that. that. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of that. fast, we should we should uh, quickly do our intros. Caitlin, where can we find you? What are you up to? 
Hi, hey, hello. My name is Caitlin Elizabeth. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Here on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's, because uh, Twitch doesn't like boobs. I stream StarCraft 2 sometimes. Um, of course, I got blindsided with a big old project, so I'm in the middle of that right now. Um, ah. But I, I am going to actually have a 12-hour-long uh, stream on Sunday, May 8th. Um, I'm going to put out more information about that. But basically, I'm trying to uh, get some money together to help my parents get a new car because theirs are dying. And my dad has to take trips for medical stuff uh, multiple times a year. And they had to rent a car to go. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. On Hot the 8th, damn. Starting at 11 a.m. PST. All right. Be sure to go check that out, everybody. You say 11 a.m. or p.m.? A.m. I'm going to go okay. do a.m. to p.m. PST. I was going to say, you're going to be up till 11 a.m. Like, I misheard at first. I'm like, you're going to be up till 11 a.m. on Monday? Oh, no, 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 no. I'd die. Tiring. I would die. Just die. I'd die. All right. <laughs> I think the only time I was ever up that late was when I was working on my TIBA entry. Oh, man. It was a good entry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is this not a normal thing? I mean, you know, you go to sleep at two, you wake up at four, and then you don't fall asleep again till six or seven in the morning. Is it Sarah, just me? Sarah, it's just Sarah me. are you justifying <laughs> right now? I don't justify. That's just as normal, right? <laughs> oh, hell no. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> anyway. Indeed. Ow. I need to fix my schedule. That's it for me. And speaking of having a schedule, Rabbit, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Yo, what's up? Uh, my name's uh, my name's Rabbit. Uh, you can find me on Twitch.tv slash Hey Mr. Rabbit. You can also find me on Twitter at Hey Mr. Rabbit. Uh, I stream in the evenings during the week. I stream horror games, RPGs, and retro games. So if that's something you want to go ahead and do, come on down. I have a good old uh, I have a good old smorgasbord for you. Been playing a lot of retro RPGs lately. My favorite retro RPG that I've been playing the absolute, uh, the like the absolute bejesus out of is old school RuneScape. That game is fun. I discovered it six months ago. It's um, boy howdy isn't everything I've ever wanted in an old RPG. It's just so, it's just so damn good. <laughs> Uh, other than that, that's uh, pretty much it. I also tell funny dum dum stories, so if you just want to come on down, that's pretty good. Also, we're wrapping up Digimon on Thursday this week. Uh, mm -hmm. This Thursday is going to be the last Digimon, uh, Digimon stream for a while until Digimon Survive comes up. So uh, come on down; it's going to be really great. All righty, uh, Lanny Pator, where can they find you? What are you up to? Uh, you can find me all over the internet at Lanny Pator, uh, twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. Currently playing through Mad Max, if you're not all uh, absolutely post-apocalypse out after this campaign, feel free to join me. I'll be playing some more tomorrow. Uh, game super underrated, really, really good. Has that Arkham fighting system, but it's like really brutal. Like you get into this string and you just start doing like wrestling moves to guys. It's, it's fucking crazy and I love it. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, that's me. Alrighty. Sarah, where can they find you? And what are you up to? I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an A. Uh, Sarah with an H and with an E. Will ya? Um. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> what? Ah. Nothing new to talk about. There's nothing to shill. Nothing new. Ooh, at least no, nothing no. that. At least nothing that you can talk about. What's your I favorite meal you. that you've had this week? Mm. There is a right answer. I made chili last night. Oh, oh that's yeah. pretty that's awesome. awesome. That's a good answer. I hey, did you so good. Chili. Hey, hey, did you pet a dog today? I did. No. There was dogs, though, today when we raced oh. around. Oh, that's, that's true. Cute. There was a really cute black little baby poodle thing. Oh. Yeah, so there was, there was a, nice. I think it was a husky. Uh, no, it was a German oh. Shepherd, but I oh. couldn't pet it because I didn't ask permission, and I would try not to do that. Mm -hmm. Good etiquette. Fair enough. Yeah. It is. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I yeah, no. I'll, I'll I'm sorry. Right not much to talk about, and no Caitlin to hurt me for it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes violence is the answer. Mm -hmm. 
And speaking of yes. speaking of violence, <laughs> uh, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Double. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, Tuesdays I'm playing either card games or board games with the boys. Uh, Fridays, Friday Funhouse. Basically just play whatever I want with whoever decides to show up. We played some Kukoro, which is like a fun little minigame uh, type deal that the chat can participate in. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We didn't even get to all the minigames yet. Uh, and it was really, really cool. So that was a pretty awesome experience. And I hope to do it again next week if I don't have anything else going on. Mm, uh, rad. Saturdays is Yakuza uh, before this right here, Gateway. The number one show on the Unexpectables channel. Hell mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Yeah, thousand years, thousand years. Oh, thousand years. For a couple of, for, for, for a couple of. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Uh, and Sundays, uh, the 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 votes are in. I was going to oh. stop it at two hundred. Uh, oh. and even if even if the uh, even if. Uh, the 11 people who would have gotten it to 200 all voted for God of War, it still mm -hmm. wouldn't have beat out Legacy of Cain. So I'll be starting Whoa. that tomorrow. Uh, my uh, One of, if not my most favorite game series of all time. I was gonna say, uh, yeah. Do it, dude. Yeah. Like, I know how on about that you are. I mean, hell, Dead House Sonata is Legacy from that. Cain. Yeah. The... the, the the person who made the very first one, which is the one we'll be starting with, Blood Omen Legacy of Cain, is also developing Dead House Sonata, the action RPG where you plays the dead to fight the living. It's got a lot of similar themes and uh, some really cool stuff coming down the pipeline. They had their monthly stream a couple of, uh, I think this Wednesday they, they did their monthly stream. Some cool stuff about the playable tech demo. Oh, yeah. I hope I they have skelly fillies. I have a lot Indeed. of fond memories of Blood Omen 2. I played that a lot on the PS2. Yeah. God, I could probably I could probably recite the script to the the entirety of those games. I played them so much. Holy <laughs> cow. So one one more announcement. Uh Oh shit. Completely skipped my mind, but if you're not all role played out, we got a uh little campaign called The Ties That Bind on Monday on twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator, and this Monday, Taka will be rejoining us. <gasps> da, 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 da. He's back. It'll be a good time. He's back. By God. By God, he's back. He's got the briefcase. He's cashing in his money in the bank. You can't stop <laughs> me. He's going to be so, like, I, I have to fill him in on everything, like where you guys are showing up and what things he has to forget. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so you need to forget this. Forget what? Exactly. You never did this. <laughs> I know. I know how it is with him. Like it's been so long. It's obviously not been on his mind. So like, it, but it's going to be like a salad of information that he remembers. I'm gonna need to specifically tell him you never did this. <laughs> Info salad, the most delicious kind of salad. He's gonna feel like he's being gaslit. <laughs> no, you didn't do that. <laughs> that never you happened. <laughs> We haven't played this game in 75 years. <laughs> ah, hell yeah. Sp speaking of playing games, uh, we couldn't, well, we, we can and we do frequently, but I don't uh, play this game without rolling some of my Die Hard Dice. <laughs> die Hard Dice! That's right. Yeah, oh, die I Hard Dice. This time. Yeah, we actually got all of it this time. That's mm -hmm. astonishing. I gotta remember the exact position my mouth was in when I screamed. <laughs> the exact frequency. Um, mm -hmm. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. If you want to head on over, get yourself uh, all kitted out for your next tabletop adventure. Uh, head on over to dieharddice.com. Use the code UNEXPECTABLES! Exclamation point to save 10% off your order at dieharddice.com. And some of that money gets funneled back to us so we can keep making great shows like this one. Yeah. Woohoo. All right. With that, we got to read off some. <laughs> Doppelganger Zouse, thank you for the 15 months. Thanks to Probably Not a Mayor for my gift sub. Indeed. 
Dying Chick 117, thank you for the five bits. Hey, I just caught up. Nice. Welcome to the show live. Dax Z99, thank you for the 25 months. Gaben's Prophet, thank you for the one year. Hello there. Hey. General Zen Lita. Thank you for Dino Kenobi. You have brought me some snacks. Uh, Zen Lita, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, this is a Caitlin warning. The following broadcast may or may not include background oh, music. No. That sounds... Oh, no. Please, prepare oh. accordingly. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if I can. Well, you're what gonna if there's have a to. Horse? What if there's Gosh. a horse or, like, people laughing? Or, like, a phone? There might be that a would, horse. That would just be uh, crazy, wouldn't it? That'd be too much, Connor. The horse slips off his it, hoof, points It'd be a lot if laughing. there was, like, a, <laughs> any of those things, sounds at all. Or, like, wind. Gotcha. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to try and, and uh, bleep them out as if they were expletives. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Indeed. So just, so, so just sounds, basically. Yeah. Indeed. Just any kind of sounds. Oh, oh my god, why? Okay. <laughs> this is an act of violence. Those are mega sounds. Era. Someone's running the sound test. Uh, play Don't worry, I'll bl I'll bleep him. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Drago soon. Thank you for the sixty bits. Uh, let's race the road, rads. Indeed. Oathbreaker John, thank you for the 500 bits. So I got myself a new set of Die Hard Dice. The Dracona Ventus Chloros oh. is very pretty. And yes, I used mm. the code. Ooh. Uh, 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 I oh. shook like a dog with begging strips when you said Die Hard Dice again. I was like, it was all caps with uh, three exclamation points. So I'm sure that was what it was supposed to be. But Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Level 1 Eevee, thank you for the nine months. Gateway all day, forever, but only on Saturdays. <laughs> Indeed. Robomom, thank you for the 15 bits. Time for Gateway. Abraham Kid, thank you for the sub. Psycho Wolf Girl, thank you for the 15 months. R2 Fever, thank you for the nine months. Nine months subbed to the Gateway channel. Can't wait for Wednesday when there's another episode of Gateway and definitely no other shows coming up. Oh yeah, I should. I guess I should probably mention that actually. Uh, this. Wait, no. Yes, next Wednesday, um, will be session one of the Unexpectables Two: Alton Frontiers, our second mainline campaign. Uh, next week, May the fourth. Be with uh, you. Be sure to mark it on your calendars. Uh, I'm. I'm sure we're gonna get plenty of. Uh, Plenty of uh, both old and newcomers in here. Uh, I'm very excited for it. Uh, I hope you're there to see us play through the second uh, big D and D campaign on this channel. Indeed. Uh, Abraham Kid, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Ah, hell nah. Thank you for the raid of the party of two. Mm -hmm. Tactical Hagrid, thank you for the 16 months. 16 months, I have a sub-toddler. Have fun in the wastelands. Indeed. I make things up. Thank you for the 25 months. Floop. What's that mean? Um, <laughs> that means, um, like a, a burp. Just follow your dreams. Oh. Ah. I was going to, okay, yeah, that one sounds <laughs> more professional than what I was about to say, so yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Shinty13, thank you for the 15 months, I've been waiting for this, and thank you for the additional 10 bits. R2 Fever, thank you for the 200 bits, well, I'm only 10 episodes behind, uh, good acting on that boss battle, Rabbit, uh, catch y'all in the VODs. Aw, oh, thank you, I, I really appreciate that. Renfield88, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Just caught up 10,000 years of Gateway. Yeah! Reasonable Rex, thank you for the 10 bits. Somewhere in the wasteland, Kirk watches the runaways drive by. What kind of Brahmin is that? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kirk. Kirk will name that one Salt. 
I knew. I fucking <laughs> knew you were going to say it before it even came out of your mouth. Uh, Drago soon. Thank you for the 250 bits. Final gateway. Wednesday is coming back. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, but we were still the number one uh, show no, on the Unexpectables one. channel. We also have no intention of going anywhere. We'll be back next week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're not going anywhere as far as I know. Oh, God, Wednesday we're not happens, going anywhere, are we? Up. Connor, and you're canceled. It's done. <laughs> no! What? No, no, she's gonna tell me! <laughs> Cynthia pulls out every gun. I don't think so. Oh, oh shit. Dear. I'm being oh, held, I'm being we're, held we're, in imaginary gunpoint. Combat... I'll cry. <laughs> moral I'll cry combat annihilation this? Dude, oh, you know. dude, dude. I, I, I will do gross Oprah crying. Don't, don't, don't do this to me. Don't break my heart. Teapot, thank you for the tier one sub. Uh, Plata64, thank you for the 20 months. One more month until 20 win. Oh my god. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Boy, I've been watching Gateway on the Twitch desktop app. This will be an interesting day. And finally, Plata64, thank you for the 100 bets. How unexpected a new show on the Gateway channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Monty trying to ride our coattails. Can't believe it. Can't believe yeah, it. Monty. I can't believe she, she would just she would just try to hijack my channel like this. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, speaking of shows, are you ready to get into tonight's episode of Gateway? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's make it happen! Goodbye, chat. And then let's Goodbye, do this chat. like Brutus. Oh, wait, I need a... Okay, just kidding. No, we're good. Please wait for technical difficulties. Please hold. You're absurdly good at that. It's scary, <laughs> right? Do, do, do you want some hold music? I got hold music for you. We couldn't answer the call because clearly we're not at home. And your call's an important one. We'll get back to you. We'll make sure that we do. Uh, all right. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Hang on. Just gotta... Get to... Get to... Get to... Tie Here we go. <clears throat> Is it right? Uh, yeah, yeah, you got <laughs> it. Yes. No, yeah. yes, um, guy. Yeah, you're good. Announcer guy, person. All right. Yeah, you're red. Excellent. <clears throat> oh, it's coming. Yeah. Okay. I believe Please you. hold I believe. for technical difficulties. I'm your host, Toby Blunt, and you're listening to Gateway Radio, your musical glimpse into the good old days and your one-stop shop for all the latest news in the St. Louis Wasteland. Here's the 411 on the newest movers and shakers in the Wasteland, the Runaways. An anonymous source of ours spotted them traveling with a ghoul down near the Museum of Transportation and up through the old Lambert Airport, where I hear things have been particularly noisy lately. Use your best judgment when interacting with these individuals, folks. I hear they were also spotted near the Lavely Brewery, which had recently had its bottling facility burnt to the ground. Coincidence? You decide. Finally, folks, we've got a couple of new arrivals here in town, and get this. They've got a working Corvega Blitz. If you ask them nicely, they might just let you touch it. Speaking of asking nicely, it appears that these fine folks have some business with yours truly. I got a feeling I know what they want, but to be sure, I asked them, why are you really here? What do they say to that? Find out now on tonight's episode of Gateway. More than ever, I now, want all of that. More than ever, I want all of that to have played out in Apex's head. <laughs> <laughs> now here's Collins and Harlan with Everybody's Jazzing It. So, so Toby Blunt, local radio man, leans back in his chair after taking a big sip of his whiskey, and he sets the glass down. Uh, 
perhaps this conversation is uh, better to take place somewhere a bit more private. Oh, thank what's our, God. What's our seating situation right now? Uh, you're, you're actually sort of boxing him in right now. Uh, the four of you are sitting on the outside of this sort of booth situation. It's the four of you, uh, two of you are on either side of him. Uh, and then he's just sort of taking up a big, uh, cushion. I imagine both Louise and Cynthia are on either side of him. And then, uh, Alvin and Bastion, you're, uh, more near the front of him. All right. So currently we actually have him at a at a disadvantage, a yes. Disadvantage. Yeah. If things were to get uh, violent, he would not. It would. He would be hard pressed to escape from you. Yeah. All right. Bastion would recognize that. Uh, he would look at him. Is there something wrong with our current locale? He sort of looks to the side. Well, generally, when important business deals are going down, it's better to not have the public's prying ears. And he sort of like waggles his eyebrows at you. I glance around uh, just with a general wits. Does it look like anybody's currently eavesdropping or like keeping a very particular eye on us? Go ahead and roll that wits. That's an eight. Eight? Um, there do seem to be a couple of people just, um, not really like passive or like actively listening on your, on your conversation, but there are a few people that are looking in your direction because probably uh, more looking in the direction of Toby himself. So it doesn't look like there are any particularly interested parties, just that some people are interested that the celebrities here are talking to new people. Yeah, that's that's more what it's like. I'll few eyes do appear to be on you. Yeah, I'm a pretty famous person around these parts. So he said, we, I mean, we can extrapolate that we're, we've not fooled him, right? From him asking why you're really here. Without, without rolling a wits, it seems like He's putting some pieces together in his head. I'll roll wits. Okay. Plus two. Eight. It's hard to tell if he's made you yet, um, but he, you can tell just based off of what he's, what both you and what he has said, he's probably got a, a pretty good idea of... He's not buying if everything not, that we're selling, basically. Right, right. So Louise sees that. Okay. Um, you know what? Louise will... Louise will shed a little bit of her whatever uh, mask she had on and let that trademark grin appear. She will reach over, take his glass, take a sip, and say to the rest... Well, I'm thinking maybe we should take Mr. Blunt up on his offer. Wouldn't you agree, boss? Bastion looks over, looks back at him. He's just grinning widely at that. The reason we're here. I'm he, he, my brother. He holds up a hand before you say anything else. Oh, okay. And he and he looks over to the bartender and he sort of begins to stand up. We'll be using the back room if you don't mind. Got some important business to take care of with these people. And the bartender is like, yeah, sure, sure. And he'll he'll like uh part a curtain behind him that looks like it was made of like wooden beads, and he'll gesture back. Um, and Toby is the first one that. Uh, sort of stands up and he's he looks down as if to say follow me I'm going to get a read on this person to see if there's anything nefarious he has in mind cuz leaving the primary location in public to a separate location that I don't know if there's an exit doesn't ring well with me Okay um that would be who are you trying to do this against I'm trying to I'm trying to read Toby Blunt Okay Still an eight. 
Wow. Another eight. It's a night for eights. Uh, hang on, let me get Overseer's roll up here. It's an eight night. It's a night for eights. Um, Crazy eights. Yeah. He seems relaxed. He he. He feels based off of based off of what you've gotten from him already. He's sort of had this air like he feels like he's in control. And that hasn't changed. Um with the 8 it doesn't it doesn't seem like he means you any harm. I'm going to roll as well. Okay. <laughs> you heard the magic word. Ten. 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 Um. With the ten, you can tell just based off of his mannerisms and you know his his willingness to hear you out. Um, he's doing this for your benefit. Uh, Cynthia will put an arm, or a hand on Bastion's arm. Let's go. I glance back at Toby and give a nod. Okay. Lead the way. You all make your way back behind the bar. Um, past this, uh, bead curtain... Uh, that was moved out of the way uh, into this sort of um, uh, a small room that's probably meant for uh, a bit of gambling purposes. It's a large green felt table. Um, it doesn't have any markings on it, but there are spaces for like an ashtray uh other sort of amenities as well. Uh, it's it's rather large, and Toby sort of sits at the end, um, and just as you sort of expected, there are no exits, except for the one that you just left. But he, uh, Toby is sitting at the far end, so your seats would be closer to the one exit that is present. Louise uh, takes a, a look around that room and she eyeballs Toby. Just uh, out of curiosity, this room secure? Nobody coming to join us or listening in? P keeping in mind that my takes one to no one is active. Mm hmm. This is probably as secure as we're going to get. And me and the bartender, we're good friends. So I trust him that nothing that's said in this room is going to get out. And he's not pinging me? Not pinging your takes one to no one. I will rest a... I'll rest a hand on Louise's shoulder and just nod at her through the, uh, through the welding mask. Just with a... It's okay. Louise grins at that, flips, and musses her hair a little bit, and just sighs. Thank fuck. I was really getting tired of acting like that. I was going to punch myself in the fucking face. She does that after we're in the room? Yeah. Of course. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, th this, like, you you see Bastion get visibly uncomfortable when you let that, when you let your act down. Looks around. What? <clears throat> Hmm. Uh, I think it'll be all right. So we're now in the room with Toby. Mm hmm. The bead curtain sort of closes behind you and uh, the bartender takes a few steps back as if he's like, OK, time to mind my own business. Oh, you were still there? I was assuming we were in the room alone. You I are in that. the room. You are in the room alone, but um, the the bartender is just outside. 
Because I, I was expecting him to go away after a minute. Doesn't well, he have to ten bar? He's still he's still, he's still got to ten the bar. Is like, yeah, the curtain is right, but like the bar is right behind us, from what I understand. Yeah. Don't worry about him. He's got he's got his work cut out from him. If he was paying attention to us all night, he'd never get any work done. Yeah, I pinged that. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I think it's all right. Besides the fact. I get the feeling he, that you're a rather smart man, Mr. Blunt. <laughs> Flatterer. Well. Well, you did like give me the pretty line earlier, so. Gives you a wink. Uh, smart, maybe, but I think I'm more well-informed. I think Ooh. it'll be okay if we go ahead and keep our voices on down in nice luck. Fair enough. He'll, uh, he'll, he'll drop the big tough guy uh, persona and just sit in a chair all nice like and take off the, the welding mask. Gotta say, my boss is a big fan of your show, I gotta say. <laughs> well, thank you. It's That's very flattering. <laughs> oh. oh, he's gonna be so jealous of me that I've met you. <laughs> I'll give you an autograph when we're all done here. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So what all do you know? Yeah, you? you said you were informed. Yeah, if you're rolling the nickels, you must know what when the cards are dealt too. Well, I'm not rolling the nickels. I'm just. I'm the guy who reports the news. They got to tell the information to someone, after all. Right. And what do you know? About what? About you all? Yeah. Hmm. It would hurt if we knew. Well. Four newcomers to the town show up out of nowhere in a working Corvega Blitz. That kind of news gets to me pretty fast. <laughs> when you started asking about the runaways, I sort of had a feeling. Mm. I've been following your escapades in the wasteland pretty closely. Well, to take a line from um, from my playbook, how's our driving? <clears throat> Bastion now looks thoroughly defeated. <laughs> give give Bastion a pat on the shoulder. Seriously, I don't think we're just going to have to go for broke with this one. Relax, Mr. Dread, if that is your real name. I don't know too terribly much about any of you, but I do know the people you've been hanging out with, and gotta say it's a little strange. You know, personally, I think what you're doing in the Wasteland is a pretty good thing. You're helping people. The small folk who don't really can't really get that much help. But then you go hanging out with people like the archers and I've got to question your motives a little bit. Our association with them was out of necessity. We don't know anything about their organization other than the fact that they aren't exactly friends of the family. That's the big enemy, thing, isn't it? Enemy of my enemy. Of course, of course. Most about the archers is pretty much what everyone else uh, pretty much knows. You know, uh, drove out the, uh, you know, drove out the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I guess they were... Walters themselves at one point in time. They got some really weird tech on their hands. Their what? Weird tech. Uh, no, no, know. no. The thing the thing you said before. You said they're Walters? Walters. 
Yeah, the vaults. His jaw sort of hangs a little bit, and he like looks down at the table like he's thinking. Huh. Is that so strange? Guess it's just a thing I never knew about. I would have figured lots of people come. There's plenty of people who came from vaults. I mean, I came from a vault. I imagine not many of them make their way up here. Not really, no. So what is the word around the wastelands about them? Why are they so reviled by you? <sighs> not really reviled, it's just... No one knows what they're up to. They came in here, they pushed the Brotherhood of Steel out, something I didn't think was even possible. And they've just occupied St. Louis for their own ends, and it seems like they're trying to gather their forces for something. I don't like the feeling they give me, is all. I can't really tell you anything about their motives, but... Mysterious is the word. Too much that, about it myself. On that, we can agree. I like to keep their secrets, all right. And for a newsman like myself, that puts me on edge a little bit. <laughs> I can imagine. Well, I mean, in a way, they helped me give the white raiders a bloody nose, so that's all good. I have heard you guys have had a few run ins. Well, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Al they've, Alvin just they've, looks down. <laughs> Some more than others, few, I'll tell you. They've had a few run-ins with us. <laughs> I'd hate to be in there, Bo. So, guess that answered my question. And here's mine. What happens now that you know? Well, if you're worried, I'm going to go tattling on you to the family. That's not going to happen. Oh, thank goodness. Well, that's a relief. Was... To be fair, if, I th if he was going to do that, he could have done that out there with more people to, you know, take us down if we caused a fuss. Right. Yeah, but you would have ripped my throat out. Yes. <laughs> well, Louise was going to say, raises a finger because she was going to say something to that, and then Apex beat her to it. She's just like, eh, um, yeah. Maybe would have felt conflicted about it, but, you know. Yeah, hearing what happened to that poor, well, I guess you wouldn't really call him poor fella, but, uh, that guy in Frontenac. Above game, which was the guy in Frontenac? The guy uh, whose ribs I broke. Yeah, uh, <laughs> do, Deuce, and I believe you snapped his collarbone. Ah, yes. I you firmly grasped him. Look, I, 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 needed him to, <laughs> I needed him to be knocked out from shock and pain as quickly as possible. That seemed like the most reasonable way to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not saying I was right. That was the guy from the diner, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was a very Batman maneuver. Above game, I'm proud of you. <laughs> but in game, uh, no, 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 no. Oh shit, that asshole. Has he been around? Around here? Yeah, probably. Mm. Glances at Cynthia and Apex just like, well, you better hope we don't find him. <clears throat> he made us at the bar. It was unfortunate, but he needed to not be able to speak as easily. Fair enough. Suppose the biggest question on my mind is, how do you feel about the family? <sighs> Alvin will regard him. You know, Apex has been, as soon as the act dropped. By the way, 
Bastion's eyes went from that of somebody trying to play human to the cold, dead eyes of a shark looking at him. You know, this used to be a nice town. Tell me. Simple, simple, honest, hardworking folk. And we had it good, I won't lie, but now we're here living a life of lavish and luxury. The expense of people's freedom. That doesn't sit well with me. And he's telling the truth? It seems like it. Well then, Mr. Blunt, I do believe we are on the same side. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. I think the bubble's in the line, so to speak. Louise grins at him. It's like, you are refreshingly honest. That's nice. <laughs> well, I gotta tell it like it is, don't I? <laughs> I gotta save all yeah. the lying for the radio broadcasts. It's just the funny thing of you dealing truth and me, well... <laughs> I can't help but suss it out. She taps a finger to her head. Tell me, does... How does, uh... Mrs. or Ms. Belladonna feel about the family and all of these slaves coming in? <sighs> Lucy... You know, she just wants the town to survive, is all. She... Uh. isn't really picky about the methods she uses to do that. I see. Well, she used to be so hope. Then. She used to be so hopeful about this place, and now I guess she got what she wanted. Well, regardless of, regardless of how many nights of sleep it cost her. Were y'all just originally settlers came into Westport? Just. Uh, you know, just found a nice piece of found a nice piece of home. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Uh, I came in from over in Chicago. I settled down here. Thought it was a nice place, and they liked my voice, so they put me on the radio. I've been doing it ever since. <laughs> it's an awful nice compliment to get to get with someone. I'll tell you. <laughs> Why is it that the family has so much power down here? <sighs> well, they've got plenty of caps to spare for one thing. The, I guess you could call us a slave powered town where the slaves pretty much do all the hard manual labor and everybody else who lives here gets the profit off of that. So we're a well town just flipped on its head. Instead of everybody working hand in hand, it's just a bunch of people go ahead and do the hand do the hand stuff and then everyone else profits off it. Free labor is pretty lucrative. So Louis sort of taps taps her two pointer fingers together. If someone were to, uh, hypothetically, attempt to, uh, what's the phrase I want to use? Rip a sizable hole into the family and their operations. Eviscerate. How would that affect things here? The word was oh. eviscerate. Hmm? The word it was eviscerate. Oh, yeah, I like that. Throwing a, span throwing a spanner into a cog box. Well... I'd say you aren't the first people to want to uh, <clears throat> eviscerate the family's operation here. And people have tried. But like who? He just sort of looks down to the table and shakes his head. Oh, Understand. good people. Good people. What am I getting when he says that? He seems like he's honest. Okay. You know, when you've got bomb collars around people's necks and people not afraid to set them off. What 
if we had a way to disable all the bomb collars. <laughs> He's serious. He, he squints his eyes and tilts his head curiously. You're not lying to me, are you? The work oh. in Corvega Blitz is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm not good at lying. He really isn't. And I'm not one for lying much anymore. What What is this th thing to disable the bomb callers? Well, that you know that... That depends on your willingness to help us. Anything Say I... that you might know and could give to the family could be used against us. He says, looking to Cynthia apologetically. She looks at him like, no, good point. Okay. Let's say I believed you. What would you need from me? Your silence. And your ability to access areas that we can't get into. Hmm. Would you like to deal with the little card game we got set up here? Silence, I can do. Getting you into more of the restricted areas around here it might be a little bit harder than you realize. There's I'm not a lot of sure. It really only has to do with um, your place of business. Wait, you mean the radio tower? Right. Mm -hmm. Trademark yes, grin. TM grin. <laughs> yes, sir. It's a real easy two-step part. What do you need the radio tower for? That's where your silence comes in. Mm -hmm. The less you know, the less can be told. And at the end of the day, I honestly, I, I want you to be safe after all this, you know? <laughs> that makes two of us. If you're worried about, like, is it, like, if, like, the radio tower is going to blow up or something, no. No, nothing like that. Everything's well, going to be completely intact. Maybe even better after all this. That's reassuring. I'd like to still have a job after all this. And I'd like to still listen to your songs. <laughs> well, seems... Nothing about your normal day-to-day -day practices would change. We would just need to slip in, do a little work, slip out. No one would be much the wiser. And the effect could be instantaneous. Is maintenance ever done on the tower? All the time. Yeah. In order to keep it if, working. If y'all need maintenance, man, I could go ahead and play the part and get it set up. There mm. might be too many eyes on us. That's place, my fear. A place where maintenance isn't looking would be ideal. Yeah. I got an idea. If people mm -hmm. aren't if people aren't looking. Well, people wouldn't be looking at the top of the tower now, would they? How would I'm not talking that? about the office, I'm talking about the tippy top part. Connor, the yes. hotel that we're staying in, how many stories tall is it? Um, It is... Let me see here. I guess how many of the stories are remaining? Um... There are about... There are about, um... Six floors um, in the hotel that you're staying. Six floors and a roof, and we're across the street from the radio station, right? Correct. How many floors does that have before it turns into antenna? Jesus. Uh, Sorry. 
You're fine. <laughs> Damn it, geography. Um, it's uh, it is a good deal taller than the hotel. How would you suppose on getting onto the tower without going through the building? Oh, um. Well, I could do it pretty easily, but sounds like you're not really too keen on uh, trusting me with the nitty-gritty of what needs to be done, which I understand. Again, not so much about trust, just... Look, if do you really want to be in a position that if they know you know something, they can torture it out of you? <laughs> uh, well, that's why I got to keep lying about you guys on the radio. Well, he's already putting his neck out for us by not talking about us. I don't know. Right. He's going to have the easiest access to get where we need to go. And no one's going to ask him questions. If anything, it's hiding in plain sight to have him do it. Then what we need is we need to get Alvin the outfit of one of the maintenance people. Hmm. Y'all have a spare one with them laying around? I could probably find you one. <sighs> Although... I'll... What do you think is the best course of action, Toby? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well... Seeing as how I don't really know what you plan on doing to the radio tower. <sighs> uh, Louis shrugs. Well, I mean, if he is going to be set, helping set it up, I suppose then we could tell him. Looks at the others. Yay, nay? I think at this point, we're all in pretty deep. Well, it does make things easier. Let him know about the function of it. Not exactly what it's going to do, but what it does. We have a device that if it's transmitted over enough... If the transmission of the device can reach the devices themselves, all of the callers, the signal sent to detonate them will not be recognized. They would still be problematic to get off without some sort of release mechanism, but... At the very least, they can't be forcibly exploded. Hmm. He sort of taps on his chin a little bit. <clears throat> yep, works off the technology of his old signal amplifiers. And your idea is to broadcast that signal using my radio tower. Right. It seemed the most powerful working tower in the city. Like, um, oh, like piggy, like, like a piggyback ride. Clever. If it works. We've it does. run tests on a short range, but it's true it would be a gamble in the long range. It's untested, but it's mm -hmm. the best we've got, and we've had a limited time. To be fair, if it doesn't work, the only ones who are going to be in risk is, uh, us. Mm -hmm. You should be fine. No, the ones at risk would be all the people that the family could send against us. Mm-hmm. Louise blinks. Oh, duh, right. The field tests were promising, though. <laughs> it only has about a 10-foot radius on its own. But with that radio tower, who knows how far it could go. Me and some all would... over the wastelands. Maybe me and some that far. It, yeah, exactly what Cynthia said. If it's working the way that me and mine went ahead and hypothesized back home, um, theoretically, it would be able to affect anywhere people could go ahead and listen to your music, listen to your radio station.
Hmm. It'd be pretty tricky for me to keep something like that hidden. Hmm. I could probably play a song over it, though. Yeah. I think that might work. Something lively enough might cover it up. Uh, above game, remind me. We It doesn't need to be permanent either. We just need this active when we go to the arena, right? Uh... Guess that's up to you. It would be better so, be whether, you, whether, whether you want yeah, to yeah, retrieve the device later. It would, uh, in theory, it would just sound like a, nothing big. Maybe just like, well, you know, you know how radio static is. I imagine it'd be in the same vein. So anything that would go ahead and be able to go ahead and cover up that background static would probably go ahead and be fine. Genuinely, I don't think it'll raise any eyebrows. Connor... Yeah. Um, so when we, when we used the short range test before, didn't it like, was it that it fizzed out? What, what was the process again? Just so that I have it fresh in my mind of how the, so the, the signal from the detonator to the collar was more or less drowned out by the other signal that was being broadcast by the device that you have. Right. So it would need to be on all the time or at a crucial moment, right? Pretty much. And we wouldn't be able to control it from wherever the hell we were. Right. Or would we really logically be able to send a signal to turn it on when we want it on? Right. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, um, unless it's we like have walkie talkies. Like a suppression, it's like a suppression signal. <laughs> unless we had a way to like contact Toby and be like, turn it on! <laughs> right. That would be something. Well, don't we have the capability to get in touch with people over radio signal? Isn't that what Boss Man did while we were trying to find Kathy? I don't think any of us have a radio on us. Blink, blink. Oh, wait, you, oh, Pit, Pit Boy, Pit, right? I don't think that has a radio. I, not, not a. It's got a transfer. It's got a receiver, but it's not two way. Yeah. yeah, but boss man was able to contact me, but I don't think I was able to contact him. Yeah, right. He's got. Right. He's got an old ham radio. That's got a receiver on it. Mm -hmm. So, how would we make this work then, Toby? Hmm. So I'd assume you'd need to send me a signal for whenever you want to turn it on. Right. And once on, genuinely, I think it should be able to stay on as long as possible. So long as it's not interrupted, and so long as no one else knows and knows to stop it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> We're basically... The way it will happen is it'll be turned on It'll either affect the tower in some way, in which case maintenance will be called in, in which case we'll have a limited amount of time to do what we're going to do. Or, in the optimal scenario, it won't affect the radio tower at all, and we'll go unnoticed as we do our business until it runs out of energy. I could probably, uh, were, I could probably we, figure out we, a way... Hmm? Sorry, were we given a timeline on how long the uh, power Batteries. on that thing would last? Um, you're not sure. I think I said it was it was battery powered. Yes, it mm -hmm. is powered by batteries, and we had probably if we could keep using it until it ran out of juice. Yeah, but we I don't remember. But we don't know how much favorite. juice is in the batteries. Uh... 
Hmm. It would probably... <laughs> I'm trying to think of, uh, of something to even compare this to. Um, I guess, like, the battery life of a Game Boy Color. Oh my god. <laughs> when I had like a boom box... A few hours before it just well, dies. When I had a boombox full of D batteries way back in the day, that thing could last about eight hours before we needed to change say, it Yeah, out. Game Boy Color lasted me all the way from, like, Minnesota down to Kansas City in a drive, and then sometime yeah. after. Yeah. So you'd, we're talking like eight have, hours? You'd probably have somewhere around eight hours of signal time. Oh, we gotta go straight to the arena. Damn. Once it's mm -hmm. turned on. Once it's turned on. Crud. What if we were going there on a specific day? What if it could be turned on at a certain point that day? And the signal for it being turned on would be you playing a specific song. That way we'd know. You read my mind. I don't have that power. <laughs> uh huh. What Louis say, snorts and looks away. What say? Oh, would be, oh, would be nice. High noon. High noon. Yeah, I could do that. Well, there we have so, it. You're wanting to install this thing while you're here, I'd imagine. I mean, unless you think you can do it on your own the day of. Uh, I'm good with my voice. I'm not good with mechanical what's it's who's it's. Well, I'm sort of doodads myself. And since nobody in the city has seen his face yet, it would be easy to get him in there with his own. As long as we had the proper attire. Yeah, that's true. I could, uh, I'll just, just hold the welding mask in my hand. I could keep this on if you think that'd be better. And how long were you planning on staying here? I imagine not long. Just about till as long as I can go ahead and get that thing installed, and I think after that, I, I, I think we hit the trail unless there's anything else y'all want to do here. Uh, we got work to do. I'm not inclined to stick around too long. That's mm. what I was thinking. How That's about I? Right. How about I stop by your room at around midnight? I'll get you your uniform, but I don't think the four of you are going to really hack it as maintenance people. How many pe how many people normally come in on a maintenance? For maintenance, usually just one. Yeah, Alvin will look at everybody. Yeah, I'm afraid that's I, you, Alvin. I guess I drew a straw then. Just as well, too. I got all my tools and whatnot, so. You're the only person properly equipped for this. Avin will beat his fist up against his chest once, and you can count on me. All right. So it's night, midnight. Just as well. Sounds about right to me. Alrighty then. Right. Well, I think we tied a pretty good knot in those sneakers. Anyone else got anything else to ask? You asked what real reason I was here. Well, that's the first question I asked. The truth is, I'm looking for my brother. Your brother? Mm -hmm. He's... Black hair. 
scar on this side of his face from a death claw. And he's one of the finest hunters and trackers. He's been missing for a while, and I have reason to believe he's out here. How long has your brother been missing? He left a few years ago. Hmm. He's been trained by a ranger from the Brotherhood of Steel, so I don't think he's out here somewhere. Your brother got a name? His name's Bruce. Bruce. He, he looks up at you, uh, sort of like his mouth cocked to the side as if he's thinking. Hmm. Brotherhood of Steel? I don't believe he was, but he looked up to some of them. Your hmm. the the pseudonym you used uh, is that a is that actually a pseudonym? You said you were pretty bad at lying. My last name is Dread. Yes, and that's a surname. Huh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I heard something about a dread. His eyes immediately focus. That's why I was initially suspicious of you. You didn't look like Brotherhood of Steel to me. I don't get much... I don't get much news about the Brotherhood of Steel nowadays. They've sort of packed their bags and headed south. But... Last time I heard about a dread. He seemed to be... Seemed to be working with them. As far as I know, he's alive. Apex Bastion starts blinking in random patterns, like his brain's trying to process everything. The Brotherhood. Thank you. Of course. Wish I could tell you more, but like I said, not a lot of new information about the Brotherhood. When they were driven out, was it said where they went? Uh, last I heard, they went south, southwest-ish. I think they might have been heading towards an old military base. down near that way. Old military base. That makes sense. There would still be equipment and provisions there. <clears throat> and fortitude and shelter. 
Any idea what the name of it was? Uh, let me see here. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, it's coming. Oh, Lord. Oh, buddy. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. You are forgiven. This time. Oh. All is well. I see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Apex grunt. My apologies, I'm looking through a whole world anvil about where I put this thing. Oh no. <laughs> Ah, here we go. Uh, I think they might have been down near the Jefferson Barracks. Jefferson Barracks? Yeah, yeah. Old military memorial. But I think they've been repurposing it for uh, their own means. Uh, sorry for offering this, Louise, but could you point it out on her pit boy? Could I reasonably hide that pit boy under my clothes? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, she'll. You just got you just got a Popeye forearm. <laughs> <laughs> Louise just yes, rolls down her sleeve and and says, "Yeah, would you mind?" And he certainly will, as soon as I can freaking uh, find the reveal tool here. Ooh, <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. Dang reveal tool. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> I have a reveal tool. Yeah. Or... <laughs> Arthur, I've discovered I, Photoshop. I just know, I just know it's gonna be worth it. It's okay. Yeah. Now I can make my own memes, Arthur. All right, Arthur. Show us your memes. Oh, <laughs> better be good. If they ain't the dankest, Arthur. 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 Shut up. Shut the hell up, Dutch. Long Cat's always been good. You're not it's the little mean that Micah is. <laughs> Long Cat was just a derivative of Cheeseburger Cat. <laughs> and if you'll if you'll point your eyes down here ish. Oh wow, it's super whoa, south. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wowie. You will see the Jefferson yeah, Barracks. Woohoo! That's quite a way south. Yeah, well, after the Battle of Molten Steel, they didn't want to repeat, and they made sure to give the archers a wide berth. Can't say I blame them. Does that base have an airfield at all or anything like that? Uh, or is it like just uh, barracks and uh? It it is complex. just a a barracks. It's it's an old military complex uh it was used uh part of it is is used in the uh is used as a cemetery actually a military cemetery oh uh, fun. yeah if a name like the jefferson barracks it's gotta have been around <laughs> since the 1800s i've <laughs> uh, been around okay since there? 18 been around since 1826 actually oh my god and this is real world lore. Ooh. Oh. So it's a civil war fort. Well, post civil war. Wait. I don't know my history. <laughs> it's a fort. No, you're right. It's pre civil war. I think the civil war was 1840. I know Red Dead 2 takes place just after the civil war. And the that's American moving civil into the 1900s. So, yeah. 
I just brought it up because I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to sleep until I figure this out. Uh, American Civil War was the 1860s, 1861 right. to 1865. Awesome. Good night, Rabbit. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your contribution. We don't need you no. now. Of of course, of course. I'll just pack you my bags and now. leave. Yeah. Fantastic. I'll, I'll... I'll make sure to get an, uh, an actual Brotherhood of Steel helmet logo so you guys know what that's <laughs> all about down there. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, but yes. Well. Uh, I got driven pretty far down the river after the Battle of Molten Steel. I suppose we'll have to make our way down there if we make it out of our meeting with the family. <clears throat> as long as he's alive, that's all that matters right now to me. I get that. Speaking of the meeting with the family, Toby, you wouldn't happen to know anything about the Institute, would you? <laughs> it's like, oh, he's checking. <laughs> it's either real good, real bad, or... <laughs> yeah. Mm. Not that I've heard of. Hmm. I just wondered. The family seems curious about the dealings of that place. He just sort of like shakes his head and shrugs. Hmm. First I'm hearing about this. Well. Appreciate it regardless. Hey, hey, uh, oh, sorry, Alvin, go ahead. Yeah, no problem. Uh, hey, Mr. Blunt, uh, I got a question for y'all. I have an answer, maybe. Have you ever heard, of, have you ever heard of a woman named Jet? She'd be around my age. Real long black hair, real mean look to her. Fierce eyes, like a... Like a real tough bird. I think I heard about some raiders with someone named Jet in the ranks. Mm. Uh, white razors, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that sounds about right. I've been wanting to know if you've been hearing anything about her in specific. Like, is she alive? Well, as far as I know... Uh, the White Razors have been getting increasingly more active over the last couple of months here, but uh, not really any news out of the uh, Motorsports Park. All I'd say right. if you're... I'd say if you're intent on crossing the river, don't do it. <clears throat> What's going on around the river nowadays? Well, that's where the white razors are holed up. <clears throat> They've been moving a lot around them rivers lately. Uh, you would you would know, uh, Alvin, that the white razors, the the motorsports park, uh, is on the other side of the uh, is on the other side of the river. Uh, mm -hmm. Sort of, sort of why the arch is called the gateway to the west. Oh, uh, be, the because murder, it, murder <laughs> sport, motor sport. Ah, okay. Did you just say murder sport? I, that's yeah. what I heard. <laughs> well, like, nowadays, like, like, murder sport. I'm like, this place is fucking brutal. Is that pre-apocalypse or post-apocalypse? Uh, that's that's where that's where Mad Max is. Pre uh, Pre-apocalypse, it's the motorsports park, but now it is the murder sports park. Oh my God. We go there and like motor is like crossed out and there's big like big like red paint thing saying murder, murder. now. <laughs> there's a bunch of severed heads hanging off the sign. I'm like, oh, oh she's been busy. She's thinking about me. Oh, that <laughs> yes. It's about all I know. Yeah. Okay. That's that's, fa that's fair enough to me. I just want to know if they're really acting up around that river nowadays. Well, the Raiders—they're always acting up. But oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. 
If any of them cross over, they're usually taken care of pretty quickly. Mm. All right, that's pretty much all I have. All right, my turn then. Um, sorry to pile on more questions, but uh, got to shoot my shot here. Okay. Um. You want to happen to know, you notice, you tend to notice when new people come into town, right? It makes its way to me eventually. Have you heard about a guy named Barry? Three Barry. blonde hair, kind of lanky, glasses, probably trying to sell some kind of a uh, vault door part. Uh, I think he's passed through here a couple of times. <sighs> Recent, recently, I think. I think he when had did some. That, when did that start? Uh, he's just been in and out a couple of times over the past couple of years. Recently, uh, I think he was headed towards the city, actually. That's about all I know about that. The, you mean St. Louis? Mm-hmm. She blinks when he says a couple of years. He's been here years now. I could be misremembering something, but... Uh, based off your description, and if I'm thinking about the right person here... He's got, like, a punchable face... Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's him. Don't know much about him. Comes in and trading in rare goods, I think. And he's... When was the last time you said he was here? Hmm. Last time he was here... Maybe it was about a month and a half ago. Do you know if he managed to sell anything? That sort of confidential business transaction, it doesn't really make it to my station here. It's not really newsworthy. Um, I would have to assume he was here on business or something. Or something. Uh, you say he passes by every so often? When he's got caps to spend. It's strange. She, She's doing what should be her TM grin, but there's... Even for that, there's something off about it for the first time that people can see. I don't suppose uh, next time he comes in you know how you were gonna play a song to let us know when the uh, signal is going I don't suppose you'd mind playing a song for when he shows up again he's gonna look at you quizzically real quickly He might save me a trip to St. Louis if he comes back here first. Sure. Her grin relaxes and it's back to just standard TM grin. Ah, that would be very appreciated. Thank you. Just, just make sure to keep your radio on. <laughs> Will do. Her face goes blank for a second, and she looks at him very, 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 very pointedly. So just to clarify again, you're going to help us and you're not going to screw us, right? Uh, I think I'd be pretty screwed if I said no at this point, but I was keen to help you anyway. Down the truth? Seems like it. 
Louise grins again. Nah, you're a good, you're a good egg. We don't, oh, we don't want to hurt good eggs. There's oh, not shucks. enough of them in the world. Shucks you. <laughs> well, any other pointed questions for the radio man, or uh, is this shindig gonna peter out? I'll be ready when you are. That's a promise. Going once. I think we've asked every question that we could by now. So I think the plan is midnight tonight, correct? Midnight tonight. I'll swing by, grab Alvin, you said your name was? That's right. Alvin Bronson. Alvin. Right. Midnight tonight. He sort of uh, rocks a little bit in his seat. Yes. Okay. We're doing this. Um, if I could ask a favor in exchange. By all means. Absolutely. I know that... You guys have had a, a pretty raw deal, especially when it comes to the family. And perfectly understandable, but... If any of this action comes here... <sighs> keep the chaos to a minimum. You know, this is a place that thrives on slave labor, and, you know, there are some rich scumbags that file in through here. But not everybody's as keen on it as them, but they don't have any other options, and they're too afraid to speak up, so they just let it happen. What I'm trying to say is, if you're planning anything big, try to keep the civilians out of it. I'd like to see this place still standing after all this. If there is a revolution, it is not up to us. It is up to those who have been oppressed. Those yeah. who have treated them poorly will be the ones to answer. Yeah. We cannot make promises for others. We wouldn't say we have an interest in starting something, but Bastion's right. Mm -hmm. I know some people ain't actively doing evil, but sometimes just standing around and doing nothing is just as bad. Yeah, of, of course, of course. Good point. Well made. I suppose all I can do is hope for the best at this point. Well, if there is nothing else, then I suppose I should bid you all adieu. Alvin, I'll see you later tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a Gia. Hmm? You said adieu. It's adieu. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll see you tonight. <laughs> right. Well, then, adieu to you all. Don't correct him. <laughs> Looks at Bastion like side eyes. He just kind of like looks down and starts walking out, but it was still wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, you're, as, you're right. As you walk out, uh, he, he sort of claps the bartender on the shoulder, <laughs> letting, letting him know he's done with the room. And he files out, oh. I have a feeling this uh, relationship is going to go far and be mutually beneficial. It's been a pleasure to that. meet you. He means that, right? 
he seems like he's sort of putting on a bit of a show, but yes, uh, he's not, he's not delivering falsehoods to you. He's just okay, being a bit, he's just being a bit showy now that he's out in the open with the rest of the that populace. other people are watching us. No, oh, yeah, no, fair enough. Well, we do hope so as well, Mr. Uh, Blunt. Boss, shall we retire? Yes. Yes, we should. He says, kind of like shaking his head and trying to get his act back on. All right, well, take care and uh, welcome. Welcome to our humble town. Absolutely. <clears throat> Quiet, Dredge. Toby's face goes flat a little bit, just like looks over at Alvin. <laughs> Alvin just looks at him, oh, one motion man. slaps down his welder's mask and goes, mm. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. The whole, and the whole thing was derailed because Alvin's too fucking friendly. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, buddy! <laughs> fucking in jail later, and the guards just like I knew it was them because that one guy was just fucking cheerful as shit. Save it for the revolution, Dredge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what is your plan for the rest of the evening? I'm gonna be double. And triple checking my toolbox, uh, my toolbox, my belts, and everything to make sure everything is absolutely good on my end. Bastion is going to sit and ponder on everything he did wrong when trying to be normal. Oh, <laughs> that, oh no. hey, that's that's relatable. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. My keyboard. Uh, Bastion, yeah. Bastion is a mood right now. Cynthia's gonna double check that the car is fine. And. Yes. I'm trying to think of like. What else would there be to do in town that would be like helpful for our cover? As, as Cynthia has gone out, Louise will go with her just because no one should be alone right now. Right. True. But... <laughs> Uh, hang on for a second, folks. My keyboard appears to have died. Oh, uh -oh. cool. No! That means we have control. Oh, my God. Okay. I we do with have our power? strength. S strength. Strength. Look at, my, look at my strength. I have so much strength. With it, my bones? My bones? Mm -hmm. My bones? There we go. All right. I think I got it back. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, Cynthia, as you go back to the uh, sort of parking area, you see... Uh, <laughs> you see a small crowd has gathered around... Oh God. The car and is sort God. of ooing, ooing and eyeing at the at the brand new Corvega Blitz. Cynthia will like. Is there are there like supplies to rope off the area around the car? I don't think that'll help our situation. To be honest, that might just make it more obvious. Well, okay. So to go and check on the car. Is is anyone like touching it? Is anyone bothering it, or are they too no, scared? No one. Uh, a a gathering has has uh, cropped up here, so there are like a couple of guards that are like, "All right, all right, hands off the car." Okay, okay. Oh, nothing to see here. <laughs> Cynthia, should we maybe grease the guards' palms a little bit to make sure that car don't get you know. Whatever. How did you know the I guards mean? look, Connor? Do they look um, like, eh, we've been paid like a pretty good chunk for this. 
Um, their disposition is one that is, uh, just like there's a big gathering and that's a no-no, so we're trying to keep the peace. But they're also, like, slightly interested in the car as well. Okay. Uh, Cynthia will, like, give Louise a little, like, nod to be like, hey, come on. She'll uh, walk up to the guards. Do you do it in that manner just like I got an idea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Louise just catches that and she's just like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> uh, and Cynthia's, because Cynthia's being Tootsie, fully clothed and everything, uh, all covered up, kind of hobbles over to the guards. Uh, don't know if they recognize her at all or not, but I would imagine so since drove up in the thing. These are different guards. Okay. Good, because we pissed those other ones off. Well, I yeah. pissed those other ones off. Yeah, that was a little bit. You did pay them, though. Yeah, that's true. We did pay them. Cynthia will go up and stand by the guards. Nice, right? Huh? Oh, uh, just... Sure, but... You know, it's not yours, so... Hands off. It is mine. What? <laughs> Holds up the keys, jingles them. Imagine, just imagine you press the button. Chuk, chuk. <laughs> <laughs> he he like tilts his head. Show me. I don't know. Waves all the people back. Goes up to the door. In, in all the goggles and scarf and highwayman jacket and everything. Mm -hmm. Puts the key in, turns it, opens the door. <laughs> the the crowd goes, oh! <laughs> there's like an applause. <laughs> Lu Louise is just like trying, trying not to just like break her ribs laughing. But she, <laughs> she's trying to keep the, keep the disguise up. Cynthia has a huge shit-eating grin because she's like, I've seen so many cards in my life. Hang on, but I know I've, this I've is got you covered. Everyone. Are you ready for this immersion? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what was coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, Cynthia then closes the door again, locks it back, goes back up to the guard. Well, I suppose it is yours. Um, <clears throat> all right, people. All right. No need to crowd around. Just go back to what you were doing. And it he, he sort of starts like... The, uh, Moving forward and trying to get people to disperse, and then slowly but surely they're like, "All right, this is this, it's cool, but we don't need to stick around." And slowly the people begin to trickle away from the car. Cynthia like leans in close. You all keep this thing safe. I'll turn it on. You can hear the engine purr. Okay. <laughs> does, does he seem like excited about that or no? He he seems a little intrigued by it. If no one touches this all night, I'll take you for a spin. Roll charm. <laughs> I'm glad First time meeting him talking. too, so that's plus one. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Ten. Ten. Nice. He, he uh, nods uh, quickly and pointedly, and he just sort of stands up straight and resumes his post. <laughs> Nobody touched this fucking car. She, she kind of like, she's been really quiet being specific with this one guard who looked like he was in charge, looks around and is like, make sure they all stay in line. No one touches it. Will do. 
What's your name? Fucking hell. <laughs> that was a strange name. You did it! What, what, you what, can what, do what, it! What is, God what damn is it! God what is that? Damn it. What is that? Man. Norwe- fucking hell, what is that? Norwegian? <laughs> Fuck no. Was that it? Fuck no. It is now. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck, Fuck no. no. How do you, how do you spell that? F U K N I L. Fuck no. Thanks. If you're uh if you take up post tomorrow morning. Take you for a spin. Okay. I'll make sure I trade with my brother. Fuck nay. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> Pats his shoulder uh, once, uh, like uh, hobbles uh, back towards uh, me. Uh, like, uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't know anything could top Kirk. <laughs> I just look for excuses for you to make up names. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs> hey, hey, Caitlin, he doesn't seem annoyed. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem disgruntled. He doesn't oh, look aggrieved. Don't, don't no no. Now I'm prepared for the next time you ask me that. But if you're prepared, we won't get anything as good as fuck nay and fuck no. Oh, you'll get something. <laughs> we'll <see. laughs> don't we'll tap see. me with a good time. <laughs> Uh, and she'll uh, right. go back to Louise and be like, we're good. As they walk away, Louise just starts going. <laughs> Cynthia grins, but no one can see it. <laughs> <laughs> grins privately. Uh, let's go find the boys. Meanwhile, at the boys. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I should probably... Yeah. I think I'm bad at being a person. Oh, Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, I wouldn't say that. Why do you think that? Says Alvin with his head just shoved into his tool belt, just looking at every, like, screw, nut, sprocket, washer, making sure everything's perfect. He cannot... Fuck this up. It is all a game right now. (laughs) I just don't know how to be normal. I feel like even when I was a kid, it was easier for me to pretend to be other things, but me. And I get that. I mean, I mean, I might be one of the few people in the wasteland who might know exactly what you're shooting at there. I mean, <laughs> look at me. I used to be one of the most bloodthirsty sons of bitches on the other side of the river. Woo! And now look at me. I helped build a car. <laughs> I think it just all falls into just... You find your own stride. I didn't think I'd be this person, and honestly, I'm much more comfortable with it. So, you gotta bang up your knees quite a few times to figure out your stride, you know what I mean? I guess I never really had to find out. Well, if you ever need somebody to help you with that, I'm always here to go ahead and lend a listen. Also, if you want somebody to go ahead and just crack sparring with, I mean, (laughs) I've seen you fighting. Uh, I think we'd be fun to practice together with. <laughs> Your form is very strong. Oh, you have a lot of openings. I have a lot of openings? Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I think also that you also leave, leave a couple openings, too. I think if we practice on those. My, uh, my eyes turn into a glare. Wait. 
Where? All right. Which arm? Uh, which arm do you normally favor when you go ahead and swing your death claw? I put it on my left hand so that my right hand can be free to do things. Hmm. Like what kind of things? Well, I'm right hand dominant, so if I need to use a tool or something, it's easier to have a hand free. I see. Well, I've noticed sometimes when you go ahead and swing with your left hand, <laughs> I mean, it normally doesn't come up too much in our fights, but when you go ahead and swing up or down, you do kind of leave your side open, your non-dominant side. You're not used to swinging with your left arm, are you? I've never really fought. I just survive. Wait, really? You've never... So back at the arena... Like that was your That was your first go? Well, my first bout with survival was against some raiders out between the ranch and where I eventually got poisoned and dragged to the arena. There were these men, they weren't very unkind. And they mm -hmm. took exception to how I dressed and what I did and how I spoke. And they tried to hurt me. One oh. of them shot me. So I ripped off his arm. <laughs> That's a natural escalation of things. And then I tore out his friend's throats. Well, it seems like the fire's white hot. You just need to go ahead and be forged a little bit. Hmm. I'm working. I'm I'm really just making sure everything's inventory because there is no worse feeling than all eyes on you and you're missing your 3 8 wrench. I'm telling you. Where is that 3 8 wrench anyway? <laughs> Found it. All right. But... You got a really good, what's the term? I think it's what you said, actually, survival instinct. Mm. I was trained mostly, actually, nah, me and Jeff mostly shared the same style, now that I think about it. It's, uh, it, it's mostly based off of, um, uh, oh! You must have had a lot of books or whatnot. You ever have any books about boxers? Mm. Not really, no. Oh, man. Well, I'll tell you what. You want to hear about them? Sure. And Bastion will actually kind of like sit down, crisscross applesauce behind Alvin while he's working on putting his toolbox together. Well, it turns out a long time ago... There were people who were prize fighters, like they were they they were called boxers, and boxing uh, was an entire style of fighting around here. And there's like there was American boxing. There are people who went ahead and fought with their legs. I guess that was called kickboxing. Jet and I, we were little kids. We <laughs> when when we were uh, when we were just getting up on, we had a book. Uh, we had a book just full of just great boxers, and it even showed you stances and whatnot, and man, we were, man, we were real young working on that, but the big thing about that is that these people fought for, like, prestige, they fought for, like, money, they fought for, like, they, they fought for entertaining people, but, like, I'm telling you, folks, hmm? Even when they weren't in danger? Even when they weren't in danger? I, I mean... They uh, they fought in uh, they fought things like matches, kind of like how I like how blood duels were back when I ran with the with the razors, but like um, a lot, but like it was a lot more civilized, like right, like there was a ring, a four by four ring. Uh, people weren't throwing uh, shivs and guns into the ring. Like it, it was just two people. They had uh, they they had uh, they had uh, shorts. They had these big foam gloves on their hands. And 
black. We thought originally you needed <laughs> you needed foam to go ahead and do that. So Jet and I, we took pillows and cans of rope and stuff, and we tied them to our arms, trying to see how we could do them. But then we kept looking through it, and there was even a style called uh, called bare knuckle, and that's what uh, her and I uh, her and I taught each other up on uh, that and kickboxing. Uh, and it taught you to just be real agile, uh, go ahead and just watch your corners. When you go ahead and uh, when, at least when I go ahead and fight, I go ahead and work off them styles. So I lock onto a guy and nothing else matters but me and him. Both me and him are just floating in a, in just a big field of sand. And I do not rest until I win that fight and then I move on to the other guy. Now that I think about it, that's possible. I have openings now that I think about it. Hmm. It's actually a good point. Hmm. You get too concerned on the one in front of you. You're not aware of the other ones that are surrounding you. That's actually probably a good point. Actually, now that I think about it, that's actually how I wound up in the arena. So, <laughs> uh, But, oh man, boxers, they were so... There was something about them. It was... Me seeing the boxers was the same way as me seeing those vault tech billboards. Like, there was just something oddly romantic. Not like love romantic, but like just something real, what's the word, peaceful about it? Like something real, something real nice about it, I think I'll say. If we ever out in this, out in this place, go ahead, ever find a book on boxing i will show you it it is oh it is so so fantastic and if you want to go ahead and just pick up a couple of my tricks i'll go ahead and teach you some and you can teach me a couple of yours how's that sound i would like that (laughs) hey and after all this is said and done i'm sure uh, i'm sure boss man has a has a spare garage me and you could go ahead and work uh work around it Oh, man. Yep, everything looks like it's in order. So don't worry about you not being being able to fit and whatnot. It's just like a match. You're going to go ahead and take some lumps before you figure out your stride on it. Like I said, I was about the same way as you. So we'll work through it together. And Alvin will take his hand, will like put his hand out for you to shake. How's that? How's that sound? I'll reach out and grab the hand. <laughs> then a deal's a deal. Deal. Fantastic. Fantastic. And scene. And mm-hmm. scene. And as you all, I assume you uh, plan to reconvene in the room. Indeed, Dorito. Okay. Reconvene in the room. uh, Waiting for midnight to roll around. And that's where we're going to take a break. Woo! Woohoo! Ready! Dee 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 dee. Unless you present the stash you left in my kitchen. Hello, chat. You gonna be here for a minute? I might as well. Okay. I'm gonna Back. go bathroom then. Baby. How you doing, chat? How you doing, Connie? I'm doing all right. Good. I saw that new uh, Nick Cage movie today. It was great. Uh, which one is that? I can't remember its full name, but it's the one where he plays himself and he's like, we're like, you know, going to like a drug cartelian's birthday party. It's fucking great. Oh, and a movie that I think you'd like, since I know you like Norse mythology. I saw The Northman. Oh, yeah, I've been seeing that. It is uh, it is a fucking it is a fucking trip. It is this Shakespearean revenge tale and it's fucking brutal as hell. But it's it's real good. Unbearable yeah. weight of massive talent. Thank you, Jet. 
Yeah, like, you definitely need to have a base knowledge of Norse mythology going into that, or else so many things don't click. Oh, is it the unbearable weight of massive talent? Yeah, yeah, Jet just uh, said that in chat. That That's the Nick Cage movie. It was good. Ah. It was very good. I liked it a lot. And uh, Pedro Pascal managed to, like, match and compliment Nick Cage's very specific energy very well. It's a fun movie. It's a very fun movie. I, I saw one scene from it that was very funny. Entire thing is hysterical. Like, I can't... I'd... <laughs> If I had to choose between movies that are out in theaters, I would rank them as such. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, that's the number one. If you haven't seen any of these movies, see that. Uh, then it really depends on how artsy you're feeling. Because <laughs> Northman is stupid good, but I would say that uh, Unbearable mate, a Weight of Massive Talent is more enjoyable. This has been Lanny at the Movies. Da, 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 da. Well, like well, you. well. Welcome back. Hi. <coughs> Excuse. Yes. How's it going out there, chat? Hello, Salazar. How you doing, kitty boy? Oh, hi. Poyo, poyo, poyo. 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 My oh, goodness. Yeah. Poyo. Oh, my lord. Do you ever have a, a burp, like, travel up your throat? That's typically where they go, right? Well, like, no, no, no. Where, like, you can... Because sometimes you just burp. But other time it like crawls up your throat like an oh, eldritch just, like, horror. Oh, like lingers up that way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like an eldritch horror crawling up your throat. That's what just happened. Fun. Yeah, you know, keeping it real. And keeping it real with the eldritch horror burps. <laughs> oh my gosh, boyo. Watch out for the horse. Oh my god. The worst one is, is the one that ends up through your nose. Ew. Oh. Mm. Discomfort. My least favorite are, like, if you have the hiccups and you have to burp at the same time. And, like, they just kind of meet in the middle. Oh. Those, those hurt. That sounds really awful. I feel like whenever I get the hiccups, I hiccup and it scares me. So I swallow the air and then I burp. But they don't normally like meat. Mm. Yeah, I would not recommend it. It, it I got, I did awful. that a lot as a child. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> Hello. I found those pretzel thins, and I found a one of those Easter uh, Reese's cups eggs. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, it's some good stuff. Yeah, those are God, delicious. I've, I've lightened up on my diet since the shoot, but I still haven't had candy since. Oh man. That's 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 intensity. Eating a lot. I've been eating a lot lighter. Good. Uh, yeah, no. I've I've uh, I, I've been working out every other day and nice. been uh, been doing that. Oh yeah, no. I was it was weird, right? Cause like, uh, I was gonna go ahead and pre-order this new set of uh, magic that was coming out because mm -hmm. I wanted to play commander. Uh, so I had the money for it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the spirit grabbed me and I just went right instead of left and I walked to the community center and then just got like an annual membership down there. Oh, nice. 
and they got a well. pool and a gym and like all kinds of other uh, all other kinds of good stuff. Cool. God knows I got a basketball court so I can go ahead and not do three shots. So good. Nice. <laughs> yeah, my gym is part of my daily routine now. I don't know what I'd do otherwise. I don't know who I'd be otherwise. I oh my God. <laughs> figured I'd start small, right? Because like I was talking to my pop about it and he said I should probably ease myself into it. So I'm doing like every other day. Mm. Like I'm not doing, I didn't do it today. Because I didn't want to be really tired when I did Gateway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, oh, I feel that. And, uh, but I'm doing it, uh, but I'm doing it tomorrow morning. And uh, I've just been doing it that. Then after I do that for about like a month or a couple months, then I was going to do it every single day when I get a routine for it. It's hard to keep up with routines. It is. It really is. It's tiring. And it's tiring when you have like a million things happening too. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I don't, oh, I don't have oh, yeah. the mental space to do. I, oh, I'm sorry. I saw uh, someone asked if I've played Kirby. If I'm streaming a game, that's how much I've played video games lately. <laughs> I've, God, I feel that. Been, I've just been working. Uh, I got a project that has me on a crunch, so I thought I was going to be streaming like almost every day, and then mm-hmm. it went, ha, ha, ha no. <laughs> you thought what? Ha. I know. I it, it, It's not going to be like super long, but it just, I was not, I was not prepared. Just kind of an out of nowhere thing? Absolutely. Literally thought this whole week was going to be super chill, nothing, and then it was like, nope, every day, every, all the, all the day. Every everything everywhere all at once go go yes, go 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 that one still a good so, movie everybody should see it I'll be right back I really want to see it absolutely yeah it's I want to so see good. that too I really want to see it I've heard nothing I... but good things and I've been excited about it since I saw commercials for it months ago right behind the community center is the movie theater if it's down there I'll probably cool down while watching that that sounds Do pretty I... fun I have a single hot dog oh nice. hot dog. I, I said hot dog. I oh, hot, hot dog. Oh, oh, hot dog. A hot dog. <laughs> oh, oh, hot dog. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm I'm in the same vein where it's just like, uh, do I like I've been working so much where it's like when the only time I'm playing video games when I'm streaming, I'm like all this week uh, I've been streaming RuneScape. Those are the only times I've been able to play RuneScape. Like I've just been helping my mom garden. I've been. Uh, we had another family meeting yesterday. It was it, just a lot of big stuff. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I feel it. I feel it. Hot diggity dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. It's my nephew's favorite song. Is it? Is it? Of yes. Course. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. That's cute. Yeah. A baby. He likes the Mickey Mouse. Yeah? Oh, he likes Funny Mouse. Did the music get quieter or am I going deaf? Like what? what what's up? The what? 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 Uh, the music in uh, uh, the Roll Twenty campaign. Did you it might get quieter? Have turned it down. I didn't do anything to it. You didn't do a thing to it. Mm-mm. Nope. Nice. Ah, oh, cool. Soon I will hear silence. Oh my god. Oh, all right. Um. No, oh, there must be a way to fix that. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a goddamn hot dog. <laughs> yes. <coughs> is music? Yeah, I've been playing the whole time. Can what you guys not hear it? Wait, there's music. Oh, it got louder. Oh, thank God. My ears are healed. I was totally messing with you, but I'm glad you turned it up for Rabbit. 
<laughs> How dare you? What? It was what funny. Have I, what, what have I done to gain your ire? Oh, Rabbit, you haven't gained my ire. You would know if you'd gained my ire. Rather, you I wouldn't know like... until it's too late. Yes, that's what I mean. And better oh, Connor than knows. ever. Just ya llegado, ya. I thought Connor was going to hit me with a, you don't feel her eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> well, not wrong, not wrong. Yeah, I suppose if I truly, if there's like true ire from me, like I just, you just, I just, I don't know. I'll either tell you that I'm really upset yeah. about something or I'm just gone. All right. Or you'll already be dead. That is also that. an option. <laughs> what the hell did I miss? Oh, uh, when, uh, when, uh, when, when Caitlin you. gets mailed. Why are you killing people again, Caitlin? I'm not killing Sarah. We've talked about this. Legally, I have killed no one. Mm hmm. It's not uh, killing, it's just. The... Hey, both of you, chill out. Are we doing the vengeance demon route again? <laughs> what? Vengeance. No, no. Wait. Oh my god, that's right. None of you know about that. God, I, demon I still want to do it. I do I'm too. still just thinking about the guy being dragged away, and I'm just like, Kaylin? And you're just popping your head around the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sarah and I would occasionally, like, play out as if I was some sort of demon that had had her, as like, sign a contract for really cheap rent in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, because I... I was, as a demon, creating soulless husks to be my roommate, but they were really boring. So then mm -hmm. I, like, would exchange really cheap rent for souls. And Sarah had, you know, for a short period of time, signed her soul over to me and is my roommate. And then we were, like, kind of just improv what that dynamic would be like randomly. Yeah, it's, just, it's like the idea of, like, us just, like, sitting watching Netflix as I'm, like, just, like, eating popcorn. It's like... So like, so like, what's it feel like? I'm mean, just like empty inside. How's that work? What do you mean? All? You two oh. have a very fun relationship. Well, it's like I get, I'm, I'm like <laughs> kind of leasing you. I'm leasing you my soul, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. contractually. So, so if I, so but it's not like giving you my soul. So is no, it sort no, of like no, 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 no. Yeah. So is it like half in, half? half what's that feel like? Do I feel anything? I mean, you don't feel any different, right? Like, oh, right there. You right. Know when normal. You, when, I think I know Tuesday how it feels. For you, right? Uh huh. Yeah. You so, know when you're yeah, drinking you, country lemonade and the seed gets stuck in the straw? That's probably what it feels like. Well, you know, it, it's it's like all the random shit of being roommates with like basically a demon and and how I'm never I'm for the most part nonplussed but not that concerned. Yeah. Like I yes. uh, like opening the look like opening the fridge door and like finding a head and I just sort of look at it and then I go Caitlin? Yeah. Yes. Are we had a milk again. Yeah, I drank the rest of the 2%. I know that you normally drink skim, but I was yeah, sorry. Oh, it's right. Gone. Like, like reaching past the head for just like a, a <laughs> bottle of Gatorade. Just be like, nah, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll have the Gatorade. I'll put it on the list. Thank and you. like putting the Gatorade back in front of the head, like uh, whatever. <laughs> it's just sort of that sort of feel. Yeah, we, we oh, would occasionally just you know bust into I... that for like 30, 40 minutes at a time. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? I'd watch that on Netflix. That sounds fun. Uh... Right. <laughs> Are we all back? I think I took too long eating eating cereal. Are we all back? No. Connor Connor's eating a hot dog. He is in the reeds right now. He's in the reeds. I He's in the reeds. Grain mustard on it. I'm in Holy the reeds. My man! That's oh my how God. mustard ought to be. Man, Delicious. I haven't had a hot dog in ages. I love hot dogs. Hot I need to go back to LA at some point. I missed that dog house? First? No. Uh Pinks? Oh, um, oh, the worst. The worst kucha. Oh, that sounds good. That oh, sauce I was... place I used to love down in uh, Little Tokyo. Yeah, I thought it was the. I thought it was just called the worst. Uh, it, it, worst kucha. And Doghouse is pretty good if you haven't had it yet, Lonnie. Huh. 
I like doghouse. I don't get hot dogs though. I get I get sliders. We have a we have a place down here. Uh, yeah, we have a doghouse down here. Actually, it's really good. Oh, I love doghouse. Again, I don't eat hot dogs there. I eat like I eat their slider hamburgers because they're really good and they come on the Hawaiian buns. Oh, slider hamburgers are the so buns. good. The bun. The tater like the tots. Buns. I love tater tots. Oh man, tots are great. They are the tots superior are the form of fried thing. potato. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know. I like hash browns. Hash browns are good. But tater tots are like the closest thing to hash browns that are like, you know, like like poppable. You know what I mean? Like pop in fries, pop in a tot. You can't really pop wow. in hash browns. That's like. I'd like have a tot story about mm-hmm. doghouse, but I'm not going to tell it. And I'm not sorry that I teased it. Okay. Hey, Aww. you know what? That's fine. <laughs> I'll just grab Man, the old. I, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just grab out the old six pack and delete that file from memory. Won't I like me eating off. there. Is there something I need to know, Caitlin? No, 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 no. It, okay. it was, it was, it was me. I was the problem. I okay. had the problem with the. It, it wasn't even the tots' fault. It was just surrounding the tots. You know, it was the, it was the, um, the situation around the tots that I remember. But the, the tots, Tater tots are encroached. blameless, pure creatures. Yeah, they're, they're the tots are blameless here. Like, yeah, so they, don't don't feel that as though tots are at fault in any way, way shape, or form. It was a two prong attack on the tots. It was no, it was it was a two prong attack on me, but it was mm-hmm. also my fault. So I can't blame okay. the tots. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. I understand. I understand. Yeah. I don't because you don't give me context. I know. I'm being very vague and on purpose. Yes. Um, no, but, but I appreciate that, I that you're being story. vague. Because there is a tot story. There is one. But it won't fair. be told publicly. So, sometimes ever. sometimes the vagueness in and of itself is also the story, though. So you right. know, there you go. I feel like I have more stories and am vague about those stories more often than I should be. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know. I, I'll, I'll, we'll have some. We'll it's have it's some story what it's what adds an air of mystique to you, though. I mean, you yeah, know. I don't God, mean to, but it does. Happen. It's okay. It's like God it's knows like I'm the, not. It's like the fact that I have a cat femur in my home in Indiana. That, that's that's fair. My sister See, collects that's bones. That's a story. It's it's mm-hmm. pretty. My sister collects bones. It's pretty weird. I do have a bag of dried bones in my room right now. Wait, wait, you wait! No, hold on, I didn't hold on. Collect you it. also collect dried bones. God damn it! You wait. I don't a lot collect it. I just, I just have the one. Oh do you no, put, no. Do you, I, do you put them? Do you put them in jars and shit? Because like she puts them in bottles and stuff. Like no, you. No. I, I, I. So I, I. They're bones that I cooked and then I bleached myself. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Them. This, this, no, this is this is different from her bag. She collects bones. It's it's her own thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not. Take, like, I'm not trying to like purchase that. and collect. Them. I don't know if I it just, makes it. I just have a lot of bones that have that I have bleached over time, mm-hmm. and they are here whenever I feel like doing something with them. My grandma told me. Every, my grandma told me everyone needs a needs a hobby. So you know. I, it's, I don't know if it's better than the fact that I have a cat femur and it's not from a cat I cooked. What? How, Sarah, what? that sentence. Oh, a lot more what? Questions what? Than they did How before. is it now Speaking suddenly getting you? I said not I said I had a cat, cat femur. I cooked. What the fuck? Speaking of having a hobby, is are we all ready to get back into it? I <laughs> think <laughs> so. Do. Let's if, do if it. God has mercy on me. Oh, now I have to tell this story again. I told it on Prince Division. I'll do it later when we're done. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. get back to business. Yeah, right, we'll, we can hear this story that. later. Hey, okay, uh, bye. Love you, chat. See you later. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, chat. We're not explaining any of this. Always have a good chat. later. Have yeah. Take take it easy, paisanos. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, you four stay in your room, uh, for a little while, a couple of hours at this point. Uh, That's relatable. Would any of you be doing anything to pass the time or what would you be, what would you be doing at this point? I mean, I probably just filled in Phil on everything that went down. Phil is now well informed. Fashion yeah. would be doing basic calisthenics and pondering what it is to be human. I would be doing maintenance. 
and then uh, just shooting the shooting the breeze with anyone who will, you know, anyone who will have a conversation. Uh, he'll idly just read some of the books that he's collected on his journey, like, you know, a little programmer book or what have you. Just read all, right. all kinds of stuff. They're reading a stray Robco manual. Cynthia's just kind of going to wallflower a little bit. Maybe try and uh, check out some of her gear of like the uh, military grade circuit board that she's got. Just like give it a once over, try and understand what it's, what it is, what it does, blah, blah, blah. Alrighty. Um, were you trying to get uh sort of like a, a deeper understanding of 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 it? Yes. Um. Uh, go ahead and roll me. I guess a smarts roll. I shall. An eight. Eight. Okay. Um. So, so what exactly are you um, doing to sort of analyze this? Are you just looking at it or? Trying to see like what, what could this be plugged into? How could it be helpful based on the, the knowledge we know about the radio and, and weapons we've come across, that kind of thing. Like how can this be useful? You're looking at the, um, at the device that boss man gave you? Uh, it's something I picked up along the way, as far as I remember. Oh, the the military circuit board, right? Um, yes, 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 yes. From your time in the military, you can gather that this is a, uh, since it's intact, it's a fine piece of technology. It could be used to program, um. Possibly like a turret or oh. uh, some sophisticated military technology like that. Okay. Could be quite useful. As for, as for uh, a use for weapons, you're not quite sure... Uh, any of the weapons you have would do any good. Most of yours are pretty basic. Okay, yeah. I know that the guns I have are a little too bland for what this is. Probably, yeah. And then, Louise, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, as I said, I filled in Phil. Like, gosh, I don't know what there is to do in here. Because we can't go with Alvin. I don't know. I'm not sure if there's much for me to do. Um, yeah, I don't know, honestly. All right. In that case, a couple hours pass as you uh, whittle away the time in your room. And uh, eventually there's a knock on the outside of your door. Cynthia goes to open it. Uh, as you go to open it, are you in disguise, by the way? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I got the mask on and everything. Whenever I heard the knock, I was like, oh, shit, and just, like, scrambled and grabbed it. Okay. Uh, as you open it, it is Toby, and he has uh, a small box with him. Looks down at that, looks up. Hello. Cocks the head. Got your uh, spare maintenance uniform here. Cynthia moves away from the door and gestures to let him in. Okay, he'll he'll walk in, look around. <laughs> Out in his dredge, will just hold up a hand and just wave. So you've been keeping yourselves busy? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The moment the door shut, he just... Is just gonna take that off. Okay. He, he opens it sure up. If... 
Oh, he was just going to say he opens up the box and reveals a, a dark blue maintenance uniform. Oh, fantastic. I'll go ahead and change into this uh, in the side room real quick. Uh, I triple checked all my tools and whatnot. I got everything I need for it. All right, that's good. All right. And I will leave to change real quick. Okay. It, it fit The outfit fits you well enough. It might be a little bit small just due to how muscular you are. Um, mm -hmm. But you, you, you managed to fit into it. All right. Ooh. All right. Looks good enough to me. All okay. right. Be safe out there, y'all. You want me to take that welding mask with me to just hide the face, or do you think just, just without it would be better? He he'll he'll take uh, a similarly colored blue, um, sort of a, a blue cap with like a brim over it, and he'll just shove it onto your head and just wiggle the the cap down over your eyes. There we oh. go. Should be good enough for you. That work. All right, y'all. Let me have at the thing, and I'll go ahead and attach tab A to slot B real quick. Now remember, you're just a maintenance man. If mm -hmm. if anyone comes asking asking why we're there, let me do the talking. All right. I'm just getting paid for a job. You do all the talking. Okay. All right. This goes without saying, but if anything happens to him, and I look at uh, Toby square in the eye, you will not be safe. Fair enough. I will do my level best to bring him back in one piece. <laughs> Good luck, you guys. Cranes are head. Oh. Uh, also, Phil says he likes it. He liked it when you played that song about the uh, I think it was like the echo in the shadow or something. I don't know. Him and his mom like that one. He's kind of a fan too. <laughs> well, give Phil my regards. Then I'll have to play it more often. Phil rots in response. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will. Stay safe, Alvin. Well, both of you. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back for y'all know, okay? That's a promise for me. Mm. All right. So just so we're, we're clear, you're bringing your tool belt, the outfit, and nothing else. I'm bringing the thing I need to install. <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, shit. Oh, I knew we forgot something. <laughs> yeah, if we just get there. Just Toby just looks at me going, you got it? And I'm just like, yeah, well, ah! <laughs> we left it back in the room. Can we swing back around? <laughs> yeah, so just, maintenance just outfit. Back in my the room, tools so I need like... for the, the tools I need for yeah. the job and uh, and the thing I uh, and the thing I need. Yep. All right. You set off into the night, which is uh, still somewhat lively, but it seems like the action is uh, beginning to die down. And you hit the town. As you make your way towards the big golden tower where the uh, radio is, you are met with the same couple of guards. Uh, uh, who look at Toby and sort of nod. Mm -hmm. They look at you briefly, but they don't really say too much about you. Alrighty. You make your way into the building, and you're going up to the elevator. Uh, Toby pushes the button to go to his floor. 
And another voice on the intercom says, what do you need? It's me, Toby. I just forgot something in the office. I'll be in and out pretty quickly. Did I forget your keys again, Toby? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know how it is. Fine, but make it quick. And the uh, voice on the intercom sort of uh, crackles out and the doors open. Toby motions for you to come back in. I do so. Okay, you follow him into the elevator. And you make your way up to the floor that his radio is on. His radio station, I should say. Um, where you're greeted by a couple more guards. Um, Alvin, he's going to pause briefly, and he's going to bump into you. He's going to, he's going to pause in a way that makes it look like you bump in, uh, you bump into the back of him. <clears throat> I'm going to need you to roll me a wits check. Oh. Or that wits. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> as you, uh, as he bumps into you, you hear a metallic clang, uh, between the both of you as a set of keys hits the floor. Uh, Toby sort of looks over his shoulder and looks down. <laughs> oh, there are my keys. <sighs> and he, he'll, uh, Lean down, bend down, and pick him up. And he'll he'll look at you uh, a bit a bit blankly, as if to say, like, "Oh, well, that didn't work." And he'll just walk with purpose towards his office. I will follow along. The two guards on the outside of the outside of the door. They're saying, well, if you didn't forget your keys, then what are you here for? Ah. Make sure I didn't forget anything else. You know how it is. Plus, I'll need to pick up my spare. They, the two guards look to each other, and then they look over at you, Alvin. What do you do? Uh, I just go ahead and just nod at both of them. Just... Mm. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a charm roll. Eight. Okay. <sighs> they look at each other and then they just shrug their shoulders. Uh, Alright. Go on in and uh, make it quick. Uh, and he unlocks the door for you and uh, leaves it open for you to go inside. All right, I do so. Mm -hmm. A door shuts behind him. And you make your way further in. And he, he takes you to... Uh, the, uh, he takes you to his big radio setup where a lot of the, uh, technical what's it's who's it's are, uh, sort of off to the side. Um, he looks at you, uh, and he points down towards a, um, sort of like what looks to be a control booth. 
Uh, and he points down at the, bo- at, at the bottom of it, and he says, That's where you'll need to put that thing. But be quick, and be quiet. The glass in here is... The glass in here is one way. I'll shoot him a quick thumbs up and get to work. Okay. He's going to make himself look busy. As to not arouse suspicion. So you are going to install this device uh, into the radio control panel. Um, Mm -hmm. So I'm going to need you to uh, either use an ability that lets you do this or make a smarts roll. Okay. The only really abilities I have are like... um, The only smarts abilities are past job and can we fix it? If neither of those are really applicable, I'll probably just use a smarts roll. Okay, go for it. Gotcha. We got a we got an eight on that. Okay. An eight. So it might mm-hmm. take a little longer than you'd like. Um, you're in there for. Uh, a good little while. It takes you about 15 minutes to fully set this thing up, and you hear a knock outside on the door. Everything okay in there? Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, just... I, I must have lost it. Must have lost my backup set of keys here. Just, uh, looking around for them. Don't, don't mind me. Uh, you hear a, a aggravated sigh from outside. <sighs> All right, well, hurry it up, Toby. My shift's almost over. And he 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 looks at you like, "Are we good?" The um... yeah yeah just took a little bit while to get the coupling off, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Thing is, bing bang boom. <laughs> Unless Connor wants me to roll again. <laughs> no, you <laughs> you do manage to get it um to get it installed, and you, the the way Bossman showed you the device uh, worked. Uh, to your indication, it appears to be working. Yeah, indicator light, and yep, it's all going good, all green. Okay. I'll stand up, put my, uh, what do I need for that? Yeah, okay. put my uh, solder and stuff away and just dust my dust my uh, hands off on my pants. If you're sure, we've got no way of testing this. Uh, like I said, field test proved promising. And we did go ahead and test without short range. But All it right. is an amplifier and it should work as such. All right, I'll I'll trust you for now. Absolutely. I and mean, he... when I mean, when have the machinists ever let anyone down, right? <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and he'll uh, quickly, uh, briskly uh, walk out of his office and he'll just, like, be swinging a key ring on his finger. Oh, found it! Be falling with him. <laughs> Had a extra pair of uh, helping hands here. Didn't need to use a skeleton key after all, did you? And he sort of elbows your, your chest. I'll chuckle and I'll just wave at the guys and look back to him like, oh, you... <laughs> They'll look pretty peeved that you were in there for so long. How about we escort you out? Our shifts are nearly over anyway. Might as well. 
I'll look back to uh, I'll look back to Toby and shrug with a nod like mm, yeah, it sounds mm. sure why not <laughs> hmm and uh you four now go over to the elevator and begin to take it down and as you do one of the guys looks over at you Alvin You don't look like one of the usual guys. What's your name? Oh, uh, Andy. <laughs> Make a charm <laughs> roll. <laughs> Fantastic. No. Um, These dice want to kill me. <laughs> Andy. Hmm. Okay, asking me my name again. I didn't even do it to harangue you. I just did it because that's how I, as a human being, am. I'm sorry I watched Sesame Street. This is how I talk to people. I didn't ask people their name. What would Mr. Rogers think, man? Owen. It's good to meet you. No, just hold out a hand, a, you know, like a friendly handshake, like, how you doing? Good to meet you, too. And he just shakes your hand pretty firmly. Guess your uh, outfit must have gotten lost in the wash, eh, Andy? And he'll point to the name tag that's on your outfit. Oh, and it'll God say, damn it! It says Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just had to borrow my friends. Mm-hmm. And he'll he'll sort of look over at uh Toby and he'll just go he just shrugs his shoulders. And he helped me get my keys. <laughs> right. Toby and I are stuck in the most terrifying elevator ride. <laughs> Bing! The elevator doors open and to let you all out. Five more guards step in it. <laughs> Uh, and as you do, uh, the other two guards are outside of the elevator on the bottom floor. Uh, look like they're going to file in. Well, Andy, it was nice to meet you. And uh, Toby, stay out of trouble here. All right. No hmm. more losing your keys. And he's like, yeah, yeah. All right. I heard you. Gives you one more pointed, squinting look, Alvin. Or just shakes his him. head. Give him a nod and I'll follow Toby. <laughs> he just shakes his head and keeps moving on. He, he looks like he relaxes a little bit uh, as he makes his way out of the building uh, shortly before the rest of you. And eventually, both of you will make it back to your room. He told me to say You barely a... I only <laughs> talked I was spoken to. <laughs> you cut, Rabbit, you, cut you just got so, so much there. Much there. There was, God! like, no sentence. Then only Austin will know what I said! You know it, Austin! <laughs> Calm down, Alvin, and, you know, don't wake up the neighbors. Tell us what happened. Well, uh, it's all, uh, it's, it's all installed. 
It's all good to go. When the carry light turned on, everything worked without a, without a hitch. Signal booster is online. That's great. So <sighs> everything went smoothly then? Well, yep. well, I probably think not so. as probably not as smoothly as I would have liked, but hmm. you think there's gonna be trouble? No, there shouldn't be, but it's probably best if I don't use this too often. It's also probably best if you all get out of town as quick as possible in the morning, if possible. Especially mm. you, Alvin. I mean, I'm ready to go now if we want to just hightail it. I have a favor I gotta deliver on. But she, no. gives this, she gives this pained look to Cynthia, sort of like all right, integrity. I get it. I'm not about to let up on my word. But we can have Alvin stay in the room for longer. I know, I know it was lucky when uh, I know it was lucky when I found that welding mask. He can at least hide in plain sight with that <clears throat> thing on. But mm -hmm. it'd be better to just have him stay in the hotel. That's my plan. I was just gonna go go stay here, keep the welding mask on, just wear my other outfit, and go ahead and thumb through this. What am I looking at? Advanced Robco manual. Fun. Well then, how about? Uh... You all stay in the room in the morning. I'll deal with delivering on my promise, and then we can get out of Dodge. That. Sound good? I don't know that I understand, but okay. I had a promise with one of the guards. Said I'd take him for a spin in the car if he made sure that no one bothered it while we were sleeping. <laughs> there was kind of a crowd gathering round. So I take him for a short drive in the morning and then we head out. I don't want to come back to Westport down the road and have the guards on our bad side for not delivering. You just make sure all the threads are tied. Is that all right with the rest of y'all? Fine with me. Louise looks a little twitchy, but she's like, yeah, yeah. Well, why don't you all get a good night of sleep, and I'll, uh, make sure nothing goes wrong in the meantime. Yeah, I've been eyeballing these beds. They seem pretty well put together. Yeah, we got a suite, so we have, like, multiple rooms here. So, you all go to bed, and Cynthia will stay up and watch the radio tower like a hawk to see if anything happens in the night. Hmm. Uh, you should... Is there any way that you can get in contact with me to let me know when I should activate this thing? Can we let him know what day we are meant to be at the arena? Because we remember it was a very specific day. Yeah, um, we can go any time before that day, but if we want to be specific, we could do the day of. Or the day before it's due, more than likely, so that it's not too late. I, I yeah, remember, let's... I remember agreeing to a day when I was on the radio with him. 
Yeah, yeah that, what does, is... that sounds right. Because they said it was like two weeks out. So I think they were like, mm-hmm. if you don't come on this day, so whatever day that was, it'd be the day that we would tell Toby. We'll call it. We'll call it Apex Day. To go ahead and keep it nice and compartmentalized. Apex Day. All Apex Comics, twenty percent off. Oh my god! <laughs> Come down, get your Apex comic. What's normally free is now even freer. All of a sudden, strong. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, that's those. How do you draw say. this with all your boxing gloves on? <laughs> So yes, we will communicate that to Toby, and was, and then, is there another way to get in touch with him, with you? Sorry. Well, if you've got a ham radio, you could talk to me that way. Well, we could tell him what frequency Bossman uses, maybe. And have Bossman communicate things from afar. Yeah, that would work pretty well. How does that sound to you, Toby? Sounds good to me. All right. In order to get in touch with Boss Man, you're going to go ahead and need this particular frequency. It's a bit, a bit, a bit. And so you tell him. Suddenly, Alvin's voice turns into the peanut adults. <laughs> but we will also tell Toby the day that we're intending to meet and like a general time frame of when we're going to go so that okay. he knows. Yeah. If, if any of the communication should fall by the wayside, he knows that that's the time and day that we're aiming for. Mm-hmm. And boss man will be able to apprise him. Yes, if anything should change. Are we good? Did we cover all the bases? I'm so worried. Sounds good to me. I like to think that we covered all the bases. Uh, I'm still waiting for all hell to break loose. You don't Don't think think you missed any bases. Oh my god, don't you dare. You don't think you're about to get fucked. Guys, what's up (laughs) it? Enough! (laughs) Enough now. (laughs) <laughs> this is over. <laughs> All right. Oh, After imparting right. your wisdom to Toby, uh, he leaves you all to the rest of your night. And I believe Cynthia was going to keep watch for the entirety of the night as well. Oh, yeah. Going to be watching that radio tower like a hawk to see what guards go in and go out and if there are any lights on in the building. Because uh, she, you know, was watching the building as Alvin and, and them were moving in and out, trying not to be seen in the window. And we'll right. see if anyone tampers with that room after hours. Go ahead and roll me wits. Okay. Nine. Oh, thank God. It's a little bit hard to tell um, just given how how far away from the building you are. You've got a, you've got a line of sight of it, but it's, it's hard to tell uh, the exact um situation right you're not you're not getting any you're not getting any faces but yes you the the guard shift changes uh about every three hours or so okay and doesn't look like there's too much happening at least that you can see i don't like that but okay And it pretty much stays like that until dawn comes. And the noise of the city picks back up. Okay. Morning is upon you. (sighs) 
Oh, poor Cynthia. Morning, Alvin. Sleep well? Yeah, as well as I can here. That, that bed's awfully cozy, though. It, it, it's, it's great. The bed's, the bed's nice, but the atmosphere is tense, you know what I mean? I do. Uh, now that you're up, I'm probably gonna go off and take care of things with that guard, if that's alright. Hey, that's no trouble. Come back safe now, right? I'll keep an eye on Louise and Apex, alright? All right. Hang on. I want to roll something. This is just for flavor. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, six. As you're talking, a pillow flies between you and lands on the ground. <laughs> you just see Louise glaring from like a cocoon of bed sheets, just being like, mm -hmm. I'll do it quietly. I understood. Right. I'll be right back then. I will gently toss the pillow back to Louise. <laughs> it's like a horror movie where a hand just sort of slowly reaches out, snatches it, and drags it back into the oh pile of comforters and bed sheets. And the and the eye the face the eyeballs you can see staring out for you just slowly cover up as the bed sheet falls the fringe falls down again. Oh my god. Alvin will <laughs> fix his uh will fix his harness and go ahead and just Take his post at the chair next to the window. And Cynthia will head down to the car to see if, uh... Fucking hell is down there. Sure enough. Uh, you see uh, the girl that you met last night, Fucking hell, uh, sort of <laughs> rocking back and forth on his heels excitedly. No. He looks over to you and he, he, gets a, he gets a bit giddy. Good old uh. Fucking hell. Good old fucking hell. Uh, Good old fucking hell. <laughs> God, his name is fucking hell. Car was not touched at all last night, ma'am. She looks over the car, walks around it to put on a show of being like, I already know no one touched this because you are way too excited. But Big nervous you know, checks, sweat beads trickle down checks, his face. Checks the tires. Kind of kicks him a little. Looks at the mirrors, checks for smudges, really puts, <laughs> makes a show of like, he doesn't know what she's checking for, so she's just checking for all of it. He's like chewing on his fingernails at this point. <laughs> oh, I hope I did good. She'll, she'll uh, straighten hands in the, uh, the, uh, the jacket. And, you know, she's she's got her face all covered up and everything, but you can kind of see the head turn. You did good. Lifts her <sighs> hand out of her pocket, holds up the keys. Shall we? He, uh, all, all practically bounces, practically skips over to your car. <laughs> Cynthia he, will, uh, unlock. Like a dog. Unlock the door and make a show of like ushering him into the the passenger seat. He'll excitedly get in and sit. He's like, "Ooh, cozy!" And he'll look over at the at the window buttons and he'll go. He'll flick it up and down. <laughs> and uh, she will uh, she will then uh, go to. The driver's seat, get in, adjust all the mirrors, again, making quite the show of everything to make sure that fucking else be feels very special right now. Um, and then we'll uh, uh, take a take a little tour of the city. <laughs> he is like a uh, like a kid uh, traveling to the big city for the first time. Uh, looks around and is just like, oh, I'm in a car. <laughs> 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 he like sticks his head out the window and he's like, yeah, as you drive around town. Oh, I'm so she, happy she, for him. She doesn't, she this doesn't like do anything like day. dangerous or anything. She just, you know, she, she might've otherwise been more inclined to do like a donut or something. She's like, no, I gotta be safe right now. So she just has a very pleasant drive, goes fast enough that the wind tussles his hair as he's he's sticking his head out the window and uh, you know, after maybe like 
five, ten minutes, uh, we'll come back to the parking garage and, and put it in park and turns around, puts the hand on the elbow on the seat. Well, how was it? That was so cool. It's nice, right? Yeah. Where'd you I appreciate get this? You looking out. Uh, that's a uh, kind of does the finger flick on the nose, but face is covered, so just near the general nose area. <laughs> That's for uh, me to know. And for me to find out? Mm. Maybe one day when you're older. <laughs> oh. Next time I'm in town, if you do a good job again, maybe I'll tell you. Okay. I'll look forward to it. Good man. Wait until fucking A hears this. <laughs> I keep forgetting their names. Good old fucking A. <laughs> fucking A. <laughs> fucking A. Fucking A and Sip fucking you L. Will. Sip you will oh, go no. to the other side of the car and dramatically open and let fucking L out and <laughs> then uh, lock up the car and we're uh, gonna be heading out, but We'll be back through before long. Okay. I'll be on the lookout for you. Appreciate it. Does a little two-finger salute at him and kind of awkwardly shuffles back to the the hotel. Okay. He's such a good kid. I hope he's you, okay when the revolution comes. Me too. Do you, uh, <laughs> do you walk <laughs> back or drive back to the hotel? Oh, uh, I guess at that point. be on. <laughs> Yeah, probably drive then. Okay. You pull up out of the front of the hotel. And uh, Cynthia will get out, lock all the doors, and uh, go up to reception. I'm here to collect Mr. Dread and party. Uh, yes, of course. The, the, the collared slave behind the counter um, sort of nods to you and... Uh, shall I send someone up to their floor to retrieve them? Yes, please. Uh, and she'll uh, press uh, a button that looks like it's attached to an intercom. Uh, tell Mr. Dread that his uh, ride driver. is here. His driver is waiting for him at the front desk. And, uh, Apex, you hear a knock at your door. Uh, Apex did not sleep in his bed. He just kind of curled up on the floor. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Like a dog. The bed was too soft. He gets up, goes to the door. Yes. You see a uh, nicely suited young man uh, with uh, reddish hair that's been slicked back, uh, wearing a bomb collar, it says, uh, you're a driver? Is at the front desk and waiting for you, uh, sir. Hmm. Thank you. And before I close the door, I turn back to him and I look. Your day will come. And I close the door and go to collect my things. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Hey, what the fuck? I will wear my dredge outfit. All right. 
I assume you all get your disguises back in order and file back out into the uh, into the main foyer area. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. You all meet back up with Cynthia. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Cynthia's just sitting in the car, looking like a great driver, and is actually having a little, like, oh, that was a very wholesome <laughs> moment. <laughs> really? I, ho- I really do. I hope that guy's okay. <laughs> safe just falls on him. Just act me safe. Just no. No? Okay. No, Fuck Nay kills we... him for being able to do something he couldn't. Just oh, just... no. You knew it was my dream to ride in a car. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realize they were Cain and Abel type of brothers. No. Oh. All right. You managed to file your way into the car, and I assume you're uh, going to be heading out of the town. Yeah. Indeed, Arito. Mm hmm. Back to boss man. Yeah, back to boss man. Okay. Carefully takes uh, an entrance or an exit that uh, doesn't make it obvious of where they're going to head. I mean, we're in the wasteland and we're the only working car. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but, but yeah, like... but we're not going to take the uh, path that leads directly to. Yes. Ah, so yes, fair enough. going to take a very wide berth until we are not visible, which is far, but then uh, cut around and uh, go back up. Okay. So being very cautious with how we drive. I don't know if we're going to run into anything, but uh, hopefully not. <laughs> Can I do a general roll for just looking at what's around and stuff? Sure. That's like, what, what? Yeah. That'd be a witch roll. Seven. Seven. That was a minor success. Um, you do uh get a couple more looks as you're as you're putting around town, uh, mm-hmm. looking for uh. Hmm. Just you said Putin. It was funny. Thanks. You uh. As you go around towards uh, back, as it, I imagine you would be leaving uh, up this way in that case. Uh, that is James Edwards. Up this way in that case. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Correcto. Indeed. Um... And keeping a wide berth from everything. (laughs) For fear of death. For fear of death. Uh, You don't really get too many people, too many people that are paying too terribly much attention to you, uh, especially now on your way out of town. Whew. I think we're home clear, huh? I, I so. wouldn't let down any of the disguises until we're close enough to Riverside. I don't want us running into anyone that might recognize us. I get you. Any time we're in this car, we probably should have the disguises on. Up until we go see the family, that is. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. That's probably a good idea. That definitely went better than I thought it would. Honestly, yeah. We prime for now, but there's still a lot of things that could go wrong. We're going to have to move quick and... I don't know. How long do we have until it's time again? A few days, right? God, how much time do we have? Um, 
I think at this point you have two days left until you get your answer from the archers. Okay. And then after that, I believe, is another two days for when you're supposed to meet with the family. Right. How okay. are we going to do the archers again? Do we have to go back to them? Or are they sending word? They were sending someone. They were, as far they as they were going to send a word to you. Cool, cool, cool. But there's nothing stopping you from going and getting their answer whenever the word's up. And especially now that you have car. That's true. That is true. Well... If the car is seen driving into Archer territory, Not that great. might be something. Mm. Could be problematic. Well, we could always park it nearby and walk to the town. There's that Scott Joplin house, I think it was called. Could always park it there and. Oh yeah. Funny then entertainer walk man. Arch. <laughs> I As don't know. You... What do you all think? Hmm. Well, when it comes to that, that's not a bad idea. It might work to it might work to go ahead and press the gas over to uh, to the archers and see what they have, but. Uh. Think we should tell boss man what's transpired so far? Or you want to go ahead and go to the archers first? That's the question. Actually, it's probably wise to check in with boss man first. It's one, not far of a drive, and two, he needs to know the frequency to be able to talk to Toby. Mm hmm. Let's do that first, and then we'll make our way to the archers. Alrighty. Sound good. Okay. You make your way out of Westport. The morning sun hits the side of the big golden tower where Toby Blunt is even now. And you hear crackling over your radio, Louise, on your Pip-Boy. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of Westport. I am your host of... Gateway Radio, Toby Blunt, bringing you the hits from before the war. Now, this song goes out to a very special few people that I met the other night. I hope they'll enjoy it. And crackling over the radio, you hear. This is One More Tomorrow. Jory Hughes. One more tomorrow to hold you in my embrace and thrill with rapture each time I look at your face. And as that song plays... Uh, one of you roll me a wits. Uh, gonna do it. Uh, Apex shoot. has a plus two. So do I. As does Cynthia. All right, doesn't matter. Then. <laughs> who, who wants it? I'm doing Not it. Not me! Six, <laughs> nine. Nine? Yes. Nine. Um, you get the sensation... Uh, that this particular song uh, is meant to be a signal to you guys. What kind? The the one that he'll play when we're... Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, I think I have realized that this song may be a signal. <laughs> the one that we hmm. will need to know of when we go to the family. Why, Cynthia, I believe you are right. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, that one. Yes. Mm. All right. 
And... Signal received. You make your way out of Westport. The glittering... Oh. Modern town fading behind you as you make your way down the road. And you make your way back to Riverside in one piece. Having traveled from the beating heart of your enemy's stronghold. All the way to its arteries in the town of Westport, where it gets most of its funding. With your allies made, a plan set, and the date slowly closing in, this is where we'll end the session for this week. <sighs> Goodbye. Ah. Oh, yo, Goodbye, take Austin. it easy, Austin. Fare thee well, Austin. Apex 26. 26. 26. 26. <laughs> All right, folks. Wow. Another we made week, it. another gate, Wade. Uh, Indeed. <laughs> Way in all the gates. Wow. How much did it weigh? It. <clears throat> I don't know. Nick, how much did it weigh? Yeah, how much? Uh, 26 ounces. 26. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got I gotta say Connor. That was good singing. I enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you should do like you should do like an original song for the show like Monty did. Yeah. Yeah, boy, got pipes. Song. Connor song for Gateway. Hmm. Gateway mm. song for theaters. How can oh, I you <laughs> Now I want to do song too. <laughs> Yo, hey, Connor, you and me can do something kind of like the Ink Spots, right? Like we can just go ahead and do like a friggin' old timey jazz <laughs> oh duet or God. something. It'd be sweet. Maybe. And if we can't think of any lyrics, I can just I can just bit crush our voices, so it'll be impossible to tell what we're saying. Perfect. Yeah. Wait, that's the power of that! Modern technology, indeed. Uh, Modern exciting. technology! Also, so, do I need to... So, go ahead. Go ahead. If you want to know how much the gate weighs, it's 43,226 tons. Woohoo! Wait, what? That's, that's how much the gateway arch weighs. Uh... Oh, Alright, do, do I need to tell the cat femur story real quick? Sure, if yeah, you want. T tell us. Tell us. Because yeah, I will point out. Just heard. I will yeah, point out. Just... I've told the story already on Prince Division <laughs> once, but I will do it again for the Gateway Crew. All right. So I was in high school. I was a senior in high school. We had like a biology, zoology. I forget what kind of class it was, but it was a standard science class, and we dissected stuff like most times you had to. I don't know if you still do that these days, but um. We dissected stuff like a cow's eye, a crawfish, uh, a frog's leg, blah, blah, blah. Um, and our final was we had to dissect a cat, a full grown adult Ew. cat. And no, that no, sucked. No, 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 no. That's I, messed up. What? I hated it. That's I hated traumatic. it. I, I, cause I had a cat. I loved cats. And I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to cut a kitty up. I mean, I think they got them. Uh, sadly, I think um, back then, uh, no-kill shelters weren't really as much of a thing. So I'm pretty sure they got them from a shelter that had to put down cats. And, you know, mm, they no. probably just... Mm. Yeah, it sucks. It's like, they probably like, well, let's put them to some kind of use. It's like, Ugh, no. okay. No. So they let you keep the femur? Uh, I'm getting to that. Long okay. story, I mean, this was basically a science class, and we were supposed to, you know, like, look at the muscles, look at the look at the interior anatomy, mm -mm. blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm. Um, and the final part of it was to examine the bones. And basically, the teacher was like, all right, kids, you, you pick a bone and clean it real good. And if you do a really good job cleaning up the bone, you can keep it. And at that point, because, again, this was not a fun process for me. It was... It was really hard to even be able to cut into this cat until I finally was like, all right, go. I, at that point, I'm like, you know what? 
I'm gonna keep this Beamer. This is my trophy for the trauma I've gone through. I'm getting something out of this experience. So I took that Beamer, I cleaned it real good, and I was given permission and I took it home because I was getting something out of the deal. That is why I own a cat Beamer. Bada bing, bada boom. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I hope they don't do that sort of thing anymore. It's just like, no. I don't think so. That's no. too much. You have to, there's there's no way. <laughs> and I go home, I went, went, home, went home to my cat Crispin and I was just like, I wonder if he knows. I wonder if he looks at me in disdain. It's like, you monster. Oh my God. It's like, I didn't, he, he was already dead. Look at this thing you've done to my people. <laughs> I'm like, no. My people, the cats, they yes. remember. An elephant never forgets, except replace yeah. elephant with cat. An elephant that never forgets. It, to it's kill. weird to think that one science class I dissected a cat, but another related science science class I got my second cat because the cat we were socializing I just ended up falling in love with, and I was like, I can't let go of this kitty. No, he's mine now, oh. please. And they were like, Yeah, go ahead. I was like, Thank you. Indeed. All right. Well, let us go ahead and do our outroductions, starting with Caitlin. Where can they find you, and what are you up to? Hello, my name is Caitlin Elizabeth. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Here on Twitch, it is twitch.tv slash boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. Um, let's see. What's happening right now? Um, there's Roll With Me over at twitch.tv slash Lenny Bator on Mondays. Me. Um, <laughs> and then I am going to be doing a 12-hour stream on Sunday, May the 8th, starting at 11 a.m. PST. I'm going to be trying to uh, raise money to help my parents get a new car because they desperately need one. Um, my mom is retiring and my dad got some medical news that sucks. So, uh, I want to try and do something nice for them as they are dealing with a lot. Um, and that's going to be happening next Sunday. And that's it for me. All right. Rabbit, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Hey! My name's Rabbit. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Hey Mr. Rabbit. That's H E Y M R R A B B I T. I stream all throughout the week. I stream in the evenings. Uh, you can go ahead and see me stream uh, horror games, retro games, and RPGs. Uh, current thing I'm looking into right now is I've been playing uh, probably my favorite retro RPG right now, Old School RuneScape. Uh, it's uh, it's a real big blast. Pretty chill time. Uh, also a bit of a, a storyteller and a fun thing. I was a former open mic comedian and uh, I'm a pretty good storyteller. So come on down if you want to hear Pop Pop tell his dumb dumb stories. That's twitch.tv slash hey Mr. Rabbit. Woohoo! What? All right, Lanny, where can they find you and what are you up to? Well, you can find me all over the internet at Lanny Pator. Uh, currently. Playing through Mad Max, the game that came out the same week as Metal Gear Solid V, so we got heavily overlooked. It is a very fun game. It is a janky game at times, but I think it's janky in an adorable sort of way. Feel free to tune in, witness me, as we have some fun. I actually really like the thumbnail I came up with for the YouTube archives, if anybody wants to look that up. Uh, <laughs> beyond that, Monday... As Caitlin mentioned, we got a uh, little campaign called The Ties That Bind, where Caitlin, Connor, our buddy Shadow Dancer Bob are uh, trying to save the world. And this week, Taka will be rejoining us as Asmo, the Snack Man. Yeah. Heck yeah. But that's me. All right here. And. Sarah, we're going to find you, and what are you up to? I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an H and with an E, Willia. I'm not being traumatized by my past in cats. Uh, yeah, as I said, I uh, unfortunately not anything new has really not come out, so everything's under NDA, and I can't really show anything new, so... Nye. 
Just gonna start act, start back in some acting classes this week, this month too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming some Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Uh, the first game in the series, uh, and I'm, I'm very excited to be uh, playing through the series again. Uh, it's been a while since my last playthrough, but I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for it. Uh, yes. Also, I'll be putting out the uh, College of Distortion Bard sometime soon. I promise. I just need some art for it, and then it'll be ready. <laughs> <sighs> Indeed. All right. Uh, I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor for this evening's escapades as well, uh, a Die Hard Dice. A Die Hard Dice! Uh, that's right. Die Hard Dice uh, is your one-stop yes! shop for dice and dice accessories. Uh, and if you use the code UNEXPECTABLES! Exclamation point, you can save 10% on your order when you order from DieHardDice.com. Hot damn, buddy. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Other than that, we got some businesses to read off before we send you off here. Uh, Plata64. Wait, no. Um, Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Rip Twitch desktop app. No. Too many fandoms, 777. Thank you for the two years of subbing. Hot dingles. Uh, Zenlita, thank you for the 200 bits. Fucking ill, brother of fucking A. Uh, son of the legendary. F <laughs> son of the legendary fuck no. Oh my ah. god. The legendary fuck boys. <laughs> no. God. These are my fuck boys. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I raised them right, just just like my, my pappy. Fuck off, raise me. Oh my <laughs> god. There's a whole family. <laughs> Potential. Uh, Oathbreaker John, they were the 100 bits. So, lightsaber duel between Connor and Monty for this Unexpectables channel. When will it be? It'll be May 4th, ladies and gentlemen. You want to tune in here? 4th. May 4th. Uh, to, as you see, the battle between me and Monty for the future of this channel's number one show. <laughs> uh,. Plot of 64, thank you for the 100 bits. Poyo. Poyo? Poyo! Poyo. Poyo! Poyo! Plot of 64, thank you for the additional 50 bits. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Scat flips up, thank you for the 14 months. Y'all are interesting. <laughs> oh. We try. Thanks. Burnout buddy. Vaughn. Thank you for the raid with the party of 17. Uh, just another clone. Thank you for the 23 months of Prime subage. See y'all in the VOD. X Wiley Willie. Thank you for the 20, 25 months. Endare is here to stay. Ooh, indeed. Endeared. Endeared. Dared. Bell X. Ah, thank you for the two years of seven. Magic Ninjago. Thank you for the one hundred bits. I got to dissect a shark in seventh grade. I mm, forget if I've ever really had cool. to do that. For I might have at some point. I forget if I, I did the I pig I feel too. like I opted out because I didn't want to do that. <sighs> I wouldn't have been squeamish about it, but I didn't ever do anything like that. I feel like with the cat, I had to prove something to myself. I don't know what at the time. It's been so long. Nah. I'm... I'm glad I don't have to do anything like that ever again. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I, didn't, I, wanna, uh, I wanna cuddle a kitty. 
Mm. And have it and, and uh, make and have it purr. I don't want to. Pigs, I don't pigs are cute. Me. I don't want to dissect them. Yeah. They are pretty adorable. Kitties are for cuddling, not not cutting. Yeah. Pig grows up. It's a different story. But. <laughs> just well, that, just that, that dark silence that just descended for a second. Like oh. when the when the pig grows up, it's a different story. I'm perfectly fine dissecting it then, and throwing it over a grill. But oh no! What? Poor pig. Food. I'm gonna have delicious for Cinco de Mayo. So mm. I can't argue too much. Indeed, Mad Monk Montague. Think of the two hundred bits. Another fantastic episode of Gateway, sponsored by Nuka-Cola Quantum. When your thirst is like an endless nuclear wasteland. Reach for a nice, refreshing Nuka-Cola, now with 20% less lethal isotopes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's promising. Indeed. Magic Ninjago, think of the 100 bits. And then in my high school biology class, uh, we dissected fetal pigs. Hey, that's what I did. Uh, which I actually had a bit more trouble uh, doing than the shark. Sadly, we later had to have a test on that dissection for the anemone of the pig. Yeah. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, support the Twitch desk. Support for the Twitch desktop app ends on April 30th. Huh? What? 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 It's a desktop app. I mean, I guess that's why support for it's ending. Uh. <laughs> no one knows what it is. <laughs> Uh, well, how about that? Whew. Alrighty. So, who should we raid now that, uh, now that we're wrapping up here? What a great big question that is. Hmm. Very handsome question. Let's see who's online. You know what? Uh, an, an old, uh, an, an, an old, uh, artist in our community, uh, for the Unexpectables just went live, and they have one viewer, uh, so why not? Let's go that ahead and raid pack. Junkbot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, what should our raid message be? Piggy? Fuck now. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. 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 Goodbye, everybody. Fare thee well. Until later. See you later, everyone. See you then. Bye. Uh -huh. I